let's twist the nipples and hear the kitty roar. What's up, stokers of Stoke Nation? This is Chad Kroger coming in with the Going Deep with Chad and JT podcast. We are live. And I'm here with my compadres on Thomas. What up? Boom clap, stokers. We're here with... Oh, fuck. I didn't even think of nicknames. Let's see. We're here with the... Uh, with the uh, general of Grundles. <laughs> <laughs> Strider Wilson. Stoked to be here, dudes. And we're here with the um, freaking patriarch of party, Chris Parr. What up? Woo! What's up? So we got we got a draft episode live. And uh, what are we doing today, boys? Well, dude, it's a big draft because the stakes are uniquely high for this one they're always high we take it serious but um we wanted to mix up the draft d's like we wanted to bring someone new onto the team to draft to kind of kick in some new energy and expertise but we didn't want to give anyone the boot unfairly so for this draft if you get last place you are removed from the next draft which will be brad fuller drafting horror movies with the three remaining dudes it's big big it's going to be major FOMO. The pressure is especially on you, dog. And I, ha- I, ha- I have to say this. You can't play favorites. I know Chad and me got our name in the thing, in the show. It matters oh, not. Oh, yeah, no, that's fine. We're yeah. dead men. If our list sucks, and, it's, and we're, we're going to have the listeners tell us who they think had the best list, and that's helpful, but you are the decider, my friend. Yeah. Don't be afraid to swing that axe, baby. Oh, that's what I do. Chop my dome off if my list sucks. Uh, yeah. and, it's, and we're doing American cities, which is exciting because yeah. people take their cities very seriously. We've done a little traveling, and what I've learned is is that people really care about where they're from. And the more you care about where you're from, typically the shittier the place. But <laughs> <laughs> but we're gonna maybe we'll shout your city. We've got out. the best McDonald's. Yeah. yeah, dude, I'm sure it's the best, dude. <laughs> <laughs> There's gonna be. I was like. Uh, this is going to be a tough one because there's, I, in my mind, I was thinking about it. It was like, we didn't specify like town, cities, big cities only. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like, w- what kind of cities are we talking about? There's no population threshold. We didn't even get into what really makes a great city. It's really yeah. in the eye of the beholder. Mm-hmm. Exactly. It's going to be art, dude. It's gonna, it is art. It's art, yeah. dude. You know, it's abstract. This is an abstract city draft. Dude. And, and you can pander to Aaron, too. Yeah, oh, yeah, dude. You know where cities, the Cardinals play, dude, and I know where Aaron grew up, and I know where he was but, born. Yeah, he reps he yeah. yeah. two cities that he grew up in. Yeah, Aaron, and I, then he's got the Cardinals. Yeah. Aaron, I beg of you to make, take a yeah. more objective stance here. What are the two cities you like the most, though? <laughs> <laughs> Let me put it to you this way: If you're trying to kiss up to me with saying St. Louis, I've never been there. So, oh. okay, oh. thank you for doing that. That changes my list. Yeah. <laughs> So I yeah, fucked up with Babe Ruth, bro. I <laughs> fucked up with Babe Ruth. You're going to go St. Louis I will not one, take right? yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah. I to, Although St. Louis has a lot of sick bridges, dude. It's a good city for bridges. Uh, well, I feel like we're already sick. cooking. Maybe we don't need any other conversational preamble. Maybe we get straight into it Let's and go. we shoot these odds or evens. Oh, my God. The stakes have never been higher. It's huge, dude. This no is, one wants to miss I'm the Fuller so... episode. Because then what if it's a banger episode without you? That's going to be painful. Totally, dude. I'll, I'll, fucking, a couch I'll poison Brad much. Fuller, dude. <laughs> One, two, three, shoot. Fourth. Fourth. That might be good with cities. I like yeah, that. yeah, it's cool. One, <laughs> two, three, shoot. Ooh. Third, fuck. Oh, oh, oh go, paper, rock, scissors. Wow, third time. Holy oh, guacamole. Holy guacamole, oh, dude. dude. That on. was 10. That was a 10. On. I wanted number one. There's only like I, seven I, great cities. Yeah, I did, I, I I did one number one. And then on we this go to one. town. We know what he's picking first, dude. Oh, my God. Yeah. I'm so nervous. I'm getting my face in here. All right. I'm so nervous. <laughs> uh, I mean, all right. I got picked number one. I got to go with. I gotta go with the city of cities. I got it's a, a work of art. Every time you go there, it's a marvel of human achievement. It's incredible. It's New York City. Yep. Gotta go number one. I don't know, dude. You left a lot on the table there, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good pick. I mean, Manhattan. Every like, as a kid, when I first saw Manhattan, you look at it and it's like, you can't believe your eyes. It, the, the human beings built this, and then when you or walking around, you know, you go to the village and all that, the, the intricacy of like every building. And it's just like, 
It has everything. It has culture. It has art. It has business. It has freaking, you know, stock market bros. I mean, you, you know what I'm talking There's about. There's dudes invests. It's very dudes good invest game. <laughs> yes. But like Madison Square Garden, the Yankees, Seinfeld, fucking pizza. It's a lot of culture, dude. Dude, a lot of culture. And dude, it's a cliche, but the fucking energy dude when you're walking down the street everyone's yeah. walking at a hundred percent they're max themselves no one is self-conscious everyone's loud you hear a million different languages and it, it's like everyone's just bouncing off each other and you, you get invigorated you're like holy fuck i'm alive like you're alive in new york city you can be dead in la but you can't be dead in new york it's true it's uh Broadway, dude. <laughs> Fucking Broadway. I love theater, man. Times Square. They have, it's like the epicenter of New Year's. It's the epicenter of New Year's. It's the epicenter of the world. Yeah. It's a city. It's got to be the best city in the world, dude. Dude, the subway. I love the subway. Taking the subway. You is, like the subway. You like to expose yourself in the subway. Exactly. I, yeah, yeah, I haven't like done that, it yeah. in a while, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, I remember enjoying it. When you do it, though, you're the best. Yeah, and so I just like, I, I guess I haven't had too many bad experiences on it. <laughs> You know what I mean? I've had like some weird ones where it's like, yeah, a person's not well, out. but yeah, for the most part, it's I told been normal. you. Remember, I told you about me in New York. Yeah, he was like, "Oh my, house living there?" I come out to visit. He's like, "Man, just I'm telling you, like weird people find me. It's something about my face." And I was like, "Shut up, dude! What are you talking about?" And then we went to see Inception, <laughs> and as we're walking, a guy beelines it like across the street, and then it's. JT's the farthest from him, and he walks, he blows by two of us to go right up to JT and be like, start talking about God like, or something. Yeah, and it was like, and then JT immediately what? looked at me and said, like, see what I'm talking about? You know, it's because I make eye contact. That's the oh, mistake. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can't New engage. Yorkers know better. Look straight ahead, dude. And dude, the history, the influence, like, I think more great writers, filmmakers, artists, financiers, cooks, whatever it is, the best ones, they all come out of New York. And do the accent. I think we should all try it now. Oh, New York. Hey, hey listen to me, Vinny Bag of Donuts. You hey, fucking kidding me right now? Hey, what a train you getting on? Look at my fucking cack. Look, what train? <laughs> Check out my fucking cack. Why you want me to look at your fucking cock? Are you this fucking is my sick? my fucking train. Are you fucking sick? I'm a sick fucking guy. You're a sick puppy, but you're honest. I appreciate it. Born and raised. Keep it moving. You're real. Keep it moving. You're real. That's New York. They're not Good real. Good to see you. Good to hey, see hey, you. Great to see you too. Good to see you. Thank you so much. That's the thing. It's conflict and yeah. then it's resolution. Yeah, go Yanks. You Mets? Ah. It's a great city. It's the first place I partied too, in life. Well, oh yeah, because you were yeah. in Connecticut at the boarding school. Boarding right? school, so we took the train down. Fifth I got row. a big, big uh, bottle of Corona. It was like one of the, like thirty-two ounce things of Corona, dude. I was walking down. I was, my buddy lived on A Second and Third, so we were walking around there. Went That's to the Seven Eleven, got a big Corona, drank half of it, and I started to lose my balance, and I was drunk for the first time in the streets of New York. That's magical. Ever. You just start Stumble laughing. In, dude. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Anything can happen right now. Yeah. Bob Dylan says, whether you've been in the city for five years or five minutes, you're part of it. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what? Also, it's I beautiful. like that you mentioned the city. I like that you mentioned the street numbers. It's on a grid, so yeah. you can find your way the around. The Mulaney bit. You're a fucking moron if you don't know how. Yeah. What, what does Mulaney say? He, say? he says he wanted to see a Def Jam comic make fun of uh, Home Alone. Because it's lost in the cities, like oh, yeah. it's a grid system, motherfucker. <laughs> Ten blocks up, two to the left. <laughs> Something like that. Hilarious. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> All right. Kevin McAllister hadn't done numbers yet, dude. Chris, two slot. Um, I'm gonna go with one of the. T I'm gonna go with Miami. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, bro, fuck, bro. Dude, that was my number man. one. I thought fuck, that was your man. number one. I, I mean, not, I, I can't believe you didn't do that. that. I had to go to New York, bro. I did not think bro. you were gonna do that. I thought that. you got. Yeah, dude. No, you guys Chris made smart. The picks. Yeah, fuck, man. Miami oh, sick. Yeah, you get fucking, fucking shit on No, no, no. Ass. But you talk about it now. You better fucking talk about. We're not gonna do. We're not gonna do your fucking lifting for you, bro. Why do you like it, man? Yeah, bro. Parents got married there, dude. Mom and dad got married. Well, you like butts? You like talk about butts, dude? The bathing suits. Wow. Yeah. South Beach is hilarious and awesome. There's so many dudes driving around in Lambos. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's very honest that way. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. It's all dudes yeah. with too many buttons undone with chest hair exposed and a woman 
who's you know half their age next to him, and I like it. It's yeah. very it's very transparent about its transactional nature, and I appreciate that because other cities hide it, and Miami's yeah. like yeah, that's nah, why it's like a fun like, glitz and glamour, and that's what I was chasing, and that's what I'm getting. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's islands too. You can it's live islands. Island. You can get around Multi- boat. Multicultural. There's just so many different vibes to it. It's great. <laughs> like the water is really nice. Oh, yeah. You well, like Latin sun. people are just the best. Like they're the most like passionate passionate remember when yeah. my cousin Juanita took us to that club and she brought her friend yes. and you talked about the eye contact that the friend made oh yeah bro well also Juanita started <laughs> crying because we didn't have enough girls at our table and she's like you guys are having a bad time we're like no Juanita we're virgins we're having a, we're used to by this time by the way time. we were 32 <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. and we were still basically virgins but we're at the club she's like you guys are getting no girls like no girls are here we're like we're having a nice time we had a girlfriend too yeah, yeah. But, but uh, yeah, dude, very passionate. It feels like a foreign country a little bit when you're in Miami, and it's nice. When you get to, when you get off the plane, you're like, I feel like I'm in Cuba, or yes. Colombia, or Venezuela. Yeah, it's nice that way. Yeah, and it's it was one of my had to get a party one in there. Yeah. Freaking love Miami, baby. Dude, Bro. best nightclubs, arguably. Yeah, they got eleven. They got live. Fire. They got what are the other ones? I don't know. Well, no, and I'm sure they're they sick. Say, and, and I, don't, I don't mean this as any disrespect to NYC because it is the best city. But they yeah. say NYC is the city that never sleeps. It's really Miami. Like yeah. Miami, they my, my cousin Juanita, she took us to a club at three in the morning, and I go, the place is dead. She goes, it doesn't go off until four in the morning. Mm. We waited another hour, and then it was fucking banging. Dude. Like it's so awesome. It's insane. They are professional. It's it's like Las Vegas. You could like get wine to steal from Strider's in, in New York, but there's got to be parties, right? It's it's always going off. They're professional partiers there, and then the it's other awesome. Place. Yeah, I think I'm definitely gonna move there at some point. <laughs> Most I love celebrities that for you, do. Dude. Yeah. They get a house on like Star Island, and they they realize that's it. That's the gift. That's where I'm going. A lot of hurricanes. Yeah, dude. the weather though, dude. We got to talk. You know, if we're talking shit, which I'm gonna ta- start talking shit. A lot of hurricanes. Weather in New York fucking sucks in the winter, dude. It people, sucks, hey, dude. hey, bro, people bail on that city, Snow so it's burning, not even dude, a full but... year city. And then Miami, dude, hurricanes suck, dude. Hurricanes suck, dude. dude. People kind of bail on. I'm with you there, Strider. Hurricanes, yeah, it's too tropical, suck. Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's too humid too in the summer. Yeah, bro, yeah. too hot. Smell. Yeah, bad. look, hey, I'm just gonna say this now. Nobody, n- nowhere's perfect. That's true. You know, dude, yeah. good fucking counterpoint, dude. All right, dude, I'm going to go with the third pick. It's a city none of us wanted to take. I didn't want to take it. <laughs> I'm taking it. We're there right now. Los Angeles, dude. <laughs> Nobody wanted it. But it, look, Not Los in the Angeles, first round. it's because we're here, bro. And it's that old quote that New York is a fun hell and L.A. is a sad heaven. There is an ennui that exists throughout Los Angeles. When you've been here, it's an isolating... Wait, I gotta talk it up. All right, L.A. rips, dude. <laughs> dude no, but LA. you're doing what all dude, LA people do. Dude, dude, for you, dude. We shit on our city first, and then we're like, dude. But okay, this is look. why it slaps, and then you go. This is so. L.A. The weather rips. Sunny, more days out of the year than almost anywhere. The beach. You're close to the mountains. You're close to O.C. You can go to S.F. And then L.A. It's a city of dreamers. Mm. Everyone's here chasing something. They're chasing. What are they chasing? Fame. Fame, stardom. being important, being hot. Freedom. The things that every American wants. And softball trophies. Softball trophies. Yeah, congratulations to Aaron. Oh, dude, His team yeah, won the congrats. trophy. We got it oh, off camera right amazing. here. We'll bring it on. Dude, nice. that, that photo Ooh, is it's sick. Fucking congrats. congrats. But, but I, I, look, LA gets picked on, but who dictates the culture of America more than LA? Mm. Who is more responsible for the last century of what America laughs at, cries at, and unites over. Los Angeles is number one. Now, people have China. issue with it, but... China. <laughs> China, yeah. I'm no, you could say it, I'm TikTok. Kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But I think <laughs> LA's an amazing city. We have great food. You've said it before. It's a city in search of a center. Mm-hmm. There isn't like a hub here. It's just different outgrowths and different uh, ways of being. But especially when you've been here for a while, like you guys know the difference between Los Feliz and West Hollywood. The big time, oh, yeah. yeah. Between Santa Monica and Van Nuys, Pfft, you different got Malibu, worlds, dude. <laughs> Malibu, Malibu, sick. All right, let's do this. What's your favorite part of LA? Ooh. Do we count South Bay? Yeah, of course. Is that in LA, LA County? County, bro? Yeah. yeah. Is not no, LA not. County? Then it's Beach out. Is. No, I don't get Manhattan Beach. Yeah. But you know what? I wish I did. Oh, you know what's also then not it's in LA out. County? You can pick that though. You can pick that later. Culver. 
That's Culver's, not L.A. County? What are you talking about? It's its own city. Yes, yeah. I count Culver as no, part no, of No, no, Beverly LA, Hills, it's own city, but it's all L.A. County. Yeah, that's L.A. County. <laughs> it's all, oh, right, and right. so is South Bay's L.A. <laughs> oh, County. It counts. It's okay. You were, dude, 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 don't make me fucking, dude, don't get me mad, dude. Don't get me mad, dude. Yeah, I don't, I don't get yeah, yeah. West Hollywood right? has its own know. police force. It's still part of California. West Hollywood's amazing. Yeah. You drive through there downtown. It's amazing. They fucking go off, dude. You know what? L.A. is the best city. There's a reason we all chose to live. I used to live in New York. I've been to Miami. I picked here. Yeah. L.A. rules. I mean, uh, in sick. the summer it get it has dry heat, which is important. Better, better. It's decision. getting wetter though. Dude, dude, it's a separate true. issue. Yeah, it gets wet. True, it's a separate issue. You know, yeah, you get wet. That, that, that is pretty whack. But I mean, my favorite part <sighs> gotta be South Bay. If there's, but that's not in LA County. I think it's in LA County. Oh, it it's is not LA proper. Oh, perfect. LA City. I, I get Manhattan I Beach in this too. Oh, I'll, I don't know. I'll Google it after this while Strider's picking. You get all that shit. You get all that shit. Yeah, you, you don't get, get it all. Like New York, you get all the boroughs, all that, you, or you get all that fucking shit. Yeah, you Miami, get you, get, Island, you, you get Winwood where the hipsters are. And without you get South Beach, you without get all LA, that. we yeah, have yeah, no yeah. movies. Yeah, yeah. R- Redondo, Redondo, Redondo is in LA County, so Manhattan is covered. Dude, let's go. I get Manhattan Beach too. I get all the volleyball. Yeah, that's huge. All right, I'm going LA with the three spot. Yeah, love it, love it. That's big. I really, that's big. We all met our partners here. We all met all of our homies here. I didn't meet my partner here, but you hear what you're saying. Um, <laughs> you, got, you guys have hung out a lot here. It's my turn to pick. You guys so were... now I'm talking shit. The shit's coming. Hey, Brad, I want to hang out. What's going on, Brad? All right, baby, here we go. For my first of two picks in a row, back to back, four slot. I've been to this city almost as many years as I'm alive. <laughs> And you know I love to lay down some tasty, 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 tasty action. You know I love to look at some ladies' loose clothing. You know I love to have a nice meal. You know I love the mobster lifestyle. You know I like to put on a fucking dinner jacket and cruise around, baby. You know I like elegance. I like class. I'm talking fucking... I'm coming at you on this one. I'm talking Vegas, baby. Dude, it's amazing. Best place to visit. Hey, is my pick real quick. Just uh, <laughs> let me talk about it real quick. Just let me talk about it real quick. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I've been there when I was a kid. Any year in your life. Now, it's where you go. It's truly, if we're talking cities that never sleep, this place doesn't shut down. And it gets sad after a minute. But, baby, you got to get in and you got to get the fuck out because you can't handle this city. That's how fucking big it is. You can't handle the truth. It's got the best parties, dude. You go there to be the version of yourself you wish you could be every other weekend of the year. It's the best, bro. It's fucking awesome. Now they got F1. They got football. You can gamble. You can get into all the debauchery that you need to get into. It's got casinos and great movies about it. And, dude, the meal, the food's fucking incredible. The buffets. I've been to every fucking hotel. Old Town's fun, dude. Fremont Street. It's a resurgence. It's a great city. Like anything, it's flawed, but it's a fucking rad city. When you go there, if you break even, you've won. I, I, I think it is the most fun place to visit 100 percent dude for sure a hundred percent because everyone's there for one thing yeah so it's like so because even the in elevators like, even are in like super party the elevators cities, are amazing like, yeah exactly like there's just everyone's just walking around the street like oh we're gonna get and into pool, something tonight the pool, scene, oh. like, the pool scene's crazy you pulled off one of the greatest pool moves of all time it's a great move. at the win it was impressive Dude, it's incredible. I've seen all my boys cry there for various different reasons, dude. Emotional breakdowns. It's just been the... I've bonded the heaviest there, Are you dude. up or down all time at Vegas? Down. 1,000%. <laughs> way down. Absolutely, baby. The city right. wins. The can house I, can wins. I, yeah, can I counter Vegas real quick? <laughs> but of course you can, baby. We're in a draft. Let's right. go, baby. Of the places we've mentioned, would you live there, though? Oh, fuck no, but I would never live in New York. In, you, all, in LA, we're all planning on got, moving out. You got into NYU. And you decided yeah. not to go because you didn't want to pack. I went to my second city on my draft. Oh, no, you're taking it? Dude. You're taking it? Don't do USOB, it. dude. That's Fuck. a great pick. San Diego. You're it's really the best lead. city. It truly has the best weather in the country. It's the best weather. And, dude, yeah, the beaches are that, fucking dude. sick, dude. It's a military town. You know, uh, tried and true. I met the love of my life there. Get to marry her. She's the best. Great fucking, uh, dude, PB, the bars. So fucking sick. And it has everything you need. It's a big town with a small town feel. That's what I like to say. It's got all the city shit you're going to want to have, but it still feels like a small town. You go to Ensenadas, you go to Cardiff by the sea, you get that Cardiff crack. The fucking California burrito, bro. 
it, the best breakfast burritos I've ever had in the California burrito when you're fucked up and smashed and just sitting there and talking to your boy, dude, and just opening up and being like, I don't know, dude, I thought episode three of Band of Brothers was better. Wait, what? Huh? Hold on. And then you take a body of burrito that has French fries in it. What? That's where that was invented. You can cruise down to Mexico if you need to be. You can cruise to the mountains if you got to be. You can get on the 15 and get to Vegas if you got to be. You're close enough to LA if you need to work, dude. You can shoot out to the fucking marine bases there, dude. You got sick ass ships, dude. Good ass bridges going to Coronado. It's a great fucking town. Sick. Yep. And it's, you know, you pick the best place to live after Vegas because I think San Diego has the qu highest quality of life mm -hmm. in yeah, the world. That's where me and my fiance do want to live there. That's it's the epicenter of cool too. Yeah. People who come from San Diego, they're just cool. You can tell that's they got a nice tan. Aaron's from San Diego. They just come in. They got they got swag that no one else has. Dude, San Diego swag. It's amazing. And there was when I was in a. Um, in college, I like to hit. Used to hit strip clubs with one of my boys a lot, and that right where the five interchange met with the eight, um, there was like seven strip clubs down there. It was awesome, dude. Yeah, dude, yeah you know, they the also got Top Gun. Yeah, by the airport, Top Gun. Yeah, dude, they, they call it Fighter Town, USA, and Maverick. Um, Fuck. Fucking sick. Fuck. <laughs> if there was a war between all of our cities, San Diego would win. Oh yeah, oh, dude. No, like yo, Pendleton's yeah. running. You drive past there, you're seeing helicopters, you're seeing tanks, you're seeing a lot of military practice. Huge. You got the Swift Invaders, you got hovercrafts going on, dude. You got helicopters doing touch and goes. You got fucking aircraft carriers, dude. You got old history, Battleship Midway, where old dudes corner you. It's awesome, dude. And then what? And then you got fucking fish tacos, baby. No, and then after they corner you. Oh, then you just got to listen. Yeah. They just tell you stories. That's hey, let me right tell you, move. young timer. Let me tell you, young timer. My buddy Brett, who is from San Diego and lives there, said Strider for mayor just now. Bro, if I was mayor of San Diego one day, that would be... Dude, you'd be a great mayor. That's a good spot. So sick. Be rad. Good place to build yep. your political this reputation. legislation is fucking dank. It'd be amazing. Who is the mayor of San Diego right now? Uh, uh, you. Who's the mayor of LA? I don't even know. Uh, Garcetti? No, yeah. the... Um, Karen Bass. Karen Bass. Karen Bass. Karen Bass. Yeah, that's oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't vote. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I couldn't Bass. decide between I, Bruce and Bass. I couldn't vote. Culver. All right, sick. Dude, with my next pick, those were some good picks. Thank you, Legends. I'm going with the place everyone's leaving Los Angeles for. No state income tax. Cowboys and culture. See, because you want to go to a cowboy place. You want to go to a place with badasses, with Texas values, don't tread on me. But you also want to have some thoughtful artists that, you know, inhabit that place and, and bring the life of the arts there. And you don't have a pro sports team, but I think you have the definitive college sports culture. So you get that fill as well. I'm going Austin, Texas. I like this city, this is a good choice. Hey, you have a, you have a pro uh, soccer team, men's soccer team, I forget what they're called. And then you get an F1 race there occasionally. Yes, you do. You got McConaughey there, you got Linklater <laughs> there. Exactly. You got a bunch of good chefs, you got Gary Clark Jr. on the guitar, you got delicious barbecue, Oof. you got all the festivals in the world, South By, Moon Tower, etc. Best season of real world. Best season of real world was there, Abe, he brought the hammer. Mm. Um, he was an animal, no it wasn't Abe, it was a guy who looked like Abe. Who's the other white guy? Wes. I was going to say Gabe. <laughs> Danny got his eye broken. Perfect. Danny left oh, during remember that, that season. Oh, yeah. damn, his dude. mom passed. It was a very good phone conversation. Remember Nehemiah had his back. Nehemiah said tomorrow's never promised. Good shout <clears> by <throat> Nehemiah on the uh, confessional. That was such a horny uh, uh, season, too. Well, because Austin's I a horny place. You got 6th Street. Look, I was once working for a reality TV show company. They said, what do we call our show about UT kids? I said, Surviving 6th Street. Mm. Great, great you're title. You're surviving there, but you're surviving well. You're enjoying the struggle. They have and another street called Riley Street, which is sick. I think Riley. It bangs. But and then dude, they got. Do, oh, you know what else they have there in Austin? I remember when I first visited. To, I saw Reggie and Joey, your friends from college. They have. Uh, they don't have the ocean, but they have. Uh, what are they called? It's a river, but they call it a lake. The fucking things though, where it's all hot. Even though hot springs. It's not a hot. It's not hot actually. A jacuzzi. It's, it's a reservoir. Oh, yeah. What is that one called? They got those things. Hmm. Those things are great. And I went to it. It's I like went in the water. Pool, you still get not. beach culture. You still get people in bathing suits. Very nice. And, uh, yeah, I think Austin is the best blend of... For me, it's the best city that blends the right and the left. You get both of them together. 
in harmony, bringing all their best assets together so you can experience the joys of both. Yeah, artsy town in the south. It's really fun. Yeah. It's a great it's, time. And I'm going there. Th I'm leaving <clears throat> to go there in two days. Oh, yeah, nice. I'll be there this weekend. Show. So what's up, Austin? I shouted you out. Get some fucking... Terry Black's barbecue, fucking dank, dude. I'll get some brisket. The bars there are fun. I was gonna say they like take these houses that have big ass backyards, so like the bars feel like house parties. It's pretty mm -hmm. rad on like Riley Street. I like that. It's I love ass. Austin. I had a great time there. I went to Moon Tower last year, birded around from show to show. That was so fun. The people were yeah. awesome. They have everything you could want culturally. I just uh, the hotel had a great jam. I loved it. I'm I've going always Austin. had fun there. It's great. It's, it's a lot of fun bars. Maurice, you yeah. lived there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they have the comedy Mothership now. Mothership. Rogan opened a club there. They got good comedy. All right, Chad, you're up. Nice. Oh, Chris, you're sorry, you're up. Um, oh, man. You guys are fucking me. So I'm going to take another sweaty city, dude. I'm going to go to New Orleans. Fuck. Oh, yeah. good Bro, it's a good choice. No. I'm glad you got it. I'm glad you <laughs> no. got it over. That wasn't even on my list. Fuck. That's a good pick, dude. Oh, dude. Um, <laughs> snap great pick. Uh, full full uh, disclosure, never been there. Dude, no. but, yeah. Yeah. but I know it's good. Yeah, I appreciate your honesty. Yeah. I do want to go there. Yeah, and yeah. I'm, but yeah, first one's on the books for October. Um, but yeah, it was just, uh, I don't know. It sounds really cool. They call it's it. got a vibe for sure, you know. Well, it's got, it's got. Well, it's, it's very dramatic. It's, it feels it's very like. distinct, like culturally, when you go there, and then it's got, like, it's got the voodoo vibe too. So I know. There's, there's a dark yeah, energy dark, there. Exactly. It's got graveyards that are like the the they're above ground because the bodies will float up. It's got that French Mausoleum. influence, Cajun, good food, super rich. Yeah. Never sleep. Like things they yeah, like. Bourbon dude, Street. Also a good season of the Real World. That oh, David I haven't guy. seen that one. Come oh. on, meet my baby tonight. And uh, and Julie, right? Who is Julie? The one who, who got kicked out of BYU because she went on. Yeah, she came in as like a kind of like prudish girl, and then she got opened up to the and like she like the you saw her get the sex. letter where it's like you got booted because you're on Whoa. because she was like living with dudes on the real world, and it like Whoa. happened on the season. And it's French, dude. I know because it's a well, you you have the most multicultural list. Miami, yeah. New Orleans. <laughs> Speaks to your. The board just kind of fell that way, you know what I mean? Hurricane you have global taste. Yeah. yeah. New York, though, I mean, dude, LA, there's all. But they feel American. Yeah. They don't feel like other countries. Yeah, New it's Orleans. It's like black and French. I've it's never been to New cool. Orleans. I'd love to go. It's a bucket list. It's haunted, dude. Yeah. yeah. People are, are into that. It's a dark energy. I'm not into that. I picked scared. up a bad energy in there. Oh, right. Yeah, my girlfriend there. had to say you brought it. Right. Yeah. One of the oldest, isn't like the oldest bar in the United States in New Orleans? Yeah, Lestat. Even over Boston. I think yeah. Lestat, is that the name? <clears throat> Something like that. You got fucking good beignets, dude. Lestat, the, you know what they serve there? Purple drink. Really? That's what it's called. It's lean? Yeah. Was ketamine oh. in there, dude? I think so, dude. Fuck yeah. You know, just put it in. Do I get two? You get two. Yeah. All right. First one, I got to go beach town. I haven't been there, but everyone loves it. And I've seen photos, and it looks incredible. I know I would love it. Charleston, South Carolina. Nice. Good pick. Uh, fucking love Charleston. Never been there, but if Kenny early. Powers approves, I'm also stoked on I had a Brad for you. <laughs> you I'll tell Brad I say hi, dude. <laughs> so it's a little hi. early. Yeah, <laughs> Wait, is that your second or third pick? Second. Oh, yeah, I don't really think so there's anything you want me to tell Brad, just let me know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then uh, I got to go You don't party. want to say more about Charleston? I don't have anything more to say. <laughs> <laughs> I just know it's sick. I watched Southern Dude, Charm I know the audience is on my side. I can't <laughs> see what they're saying. Yeah, yeah no, no, right. right, 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 right. <laughs> it's supposed to be very it's walkable. Jake, dude, old. send us what the audience is saying. Yeah, dude. the notebook. The notebook was good. Uh, yeah, maybe right. They have maybe, a minor maybe, league baseball maybe I, team, maybe too. I, they maybe got I, the River Dogs. Maybe I switched the order. Whatever. Uh, I gotta go with Party City. I'm gonna go Nashville. Nice. So, Nashville's sick. <laughs> Every time I've been there, I've been black. Well, actually, we went there for comedy, but the other time I was there, I was blacked out, but I had a good time. They got Vanderbilt. They got comedy. They got a good party downtown. Um, whatever, dudes. I get a night off. You guys can suck my dick. I don't have to drive to fucking Burbank. Enjoy my list, dickheads. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh. oh man, 
All right. <laughs> no, dude, Memphis is Graceland, bro. You got Elvis, baby. You got Corky's Barbecue. It's dank. Memphis dude. is he different. Said, he said Nashville. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 What did you say? <laughs> I thought he said Memphis, dude. I was trying on his back. That was that's oh, nice. Oh man, Beale Street. I know the audience is on my side. I don't know. It's and Aaron might be. Look, what I'm saying over here doesn't fucking matter. No, the audience will feel your deep connection, <laughs> dude. To Charleston, where you've never been, they're gonna be like, "I really like." I know Chad was stoked when he looked at the photos of Charleston online. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> I've been wanting to get. A, I've, I've been wanting to go there. Charleston's where Bill Murray lives. Yeah, it's oh, where Bill no. Murray. That's lives. That's fucking cool. It's where Bill Murray. They have lives. alligators and stuff there, like on the golf course. Like no, big fucking alligators, Florida. right? That's Florida. I've got my beer. That's somewhere else? That's Florida, yeah. Wait, Strider, are you grabbing beers? Yeah, I'll get you on. Will you grab me? The, yeah, of you're a legend, dude. Um, you're up, Christopher. I don't really know what to do. Well, you got to pick, bro. Well, but you got this. You always come through. <sighs> Trust your gut, dog. Nah. No, Tatooine. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I personally thought we were doing the world, so I thought this was gonna be way more open up. But uh, nah, because nah. there's too many cities we haven't been to in the world. Sir, sure, sure, for sure. I guess I'll go to Denver. Nice. You can ski. It's got really good weather. It does get cold, but Denver's sick. Uh, I don't know. A lot of breweries. I guess that's <laughs> they're known good, for that. Good, good people. Oh, Mile good High comedy. City though, dude. Mile and High. Not just UV index is high. Yeah, you can get a lot of sun there, but yeah. also. You can drink a lot of Coors. So much, dude. dude the Rocky Mountains are sick. <laughs> <laughs> and you can ski and shit, and that's Most cool. Most sunny days People in the like country. That. And the best comedy town in America. Let's go. They, every comedian says it. They laugh the hardest there. Loved seeing you guys out there. It was fun, That man. show rocked. Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> oh, Thank yeah, I forgot for you were there. Yeah, because we got some boys that live there. Shout out to the Denver Chillers. The Denver Chillers. <laughs> yeah, that's what they're referred to as. And you're close to, yeah, you got everything. You got mountains. You got Red Rocks. You got major sports. Oh, one thing about L.A., dude, L.A. has, like, two of every sports team. That's true, dude. We're loaded. I didn't even get into that. Like, we got the Lakers, dude, bro. You get, do you we know have the Lakers. More? I Because I, that's some in prep for that when I was arguing the case for L.A., which I, you know, I fucking love it here, but people always shit on it. So I feel like I have to. <laughs> We get two of every sports team because it's just like, who cares? Yeah, just put two of them there. Nobody will even care, but we'll still have two. That's fucking awesome. And we still have a good college culture, too, with SC and I'm glad we're talking about LA more. Yeah. SC and UCLA. Like, dude, when we were growing up, SC, oh, it's the they made a 30 for 30 about it. Yeah, and then they were just like, you know what, though? You're going to have two football teams now. And, dude, we're sure. We're diehard for them, dude. The Chargers? <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. Oh, man. I bleed Charger yeah. powder blue, dude. The city feels that shit. <laughs> dude, so much. You can just, just see a, a city just really get behind a team, you know what I mean? And just like yeah, just like lift them up. It's just so amazing. All right. Uh, I'm up. I have three cities in my head right now. What did he take? He took uh, we Denver. Even have, we even have two MLS teams. Also had, exactly. also had a broad for you to... All right, I got a... <laughs> cool. Denver, were you flying through? <laughs> I never Best connect. City I never connectors? connect in Denver, dude. I'm not a psycho. That's United. Dude, we're doing some nice places to visit for sure. <laughs> okay, okay well, yeah. I Red Rocks Rips, and I went to a great strip club in Denver, dude. <laughs> if anyone's finding out while yeah. listening, I'm a pervert. Yeah. You don't even... Do you so, like strip so clubs it, that much? That means you almost got it. beat up at that Miami strip club. So, that so dude was right after. You. Yeah. So Shredder, you know why? Because you, you go looked, to Atlanta next. You look too well to do. That's true. Yeah, you told me that. You, 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 you literally go. You go. You look educated. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> you do. You do. It's yeah, true. Yeah, he was dressed nice, and this guy came up and was like, "What's your fucking problem?" <laughs> I was like, "You didn't do anything." Yeah, yeah, I was like, we're we're both looking at the same butthole. Right yeah. Now, like, <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, oh, yeah. Wait, 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 more of a curious gaze, though. You were like, interesting. Yeah, exactly. It was more anatomical. He didn't like it. Yeah, I like you where you're coming from. Enjoy it. Yeah, enjoy it like a, a guy more. who's like the salt of the earth would. You know yeah, what exactly. I mean? Yeah, how do you look at butthole? <laughs> you were like this. You were like, <laughs> interesting. The nature Aww. of butthole expression. Yeah, I want to get you like, a yeah, monocle, dude. Going, Aww. Aww. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> all right. With, with, my, with my third <laughs> pick. I'd say that's pretty good. 
I gotta go. I gotta go with the biggie. I can't believe it's still on the board. Like I would not want to live here because of the cold, but it is a tremendous city. It's often overlooked, but it is the second city. I will go with Chicago. Whoa! Stolen, stolen from me, dude. Yeah, Take it, did. Chicago. The pizza. Oh. They they do everything. It's like what do LA and New York do? We got our own spin on it. We got the you you like your thin crust pizza. We got the dip deep dish. You got your like uh, your theater. You got your stand up. We got our improv. They they found their own groove for so many important uh, parts of our culture. And then historically significant, like the best gangs come from Chicago. I think Al Capone is Chicago, right? Yeah. yeah. Yep. <clears throat> Bro, come on. The greatest gangster in history. Straight out of Chi-Town. Yeah, Chicago used to be interesting. I agree. <laughs> it's probably not. Look, look. It's a third pick. I'm not saying it's Denver. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Oh, man. You got the Cubbies, dude. Yep. The, Ooh, I, Wrigley. I grew up watching the Cubs because WGN <laughs> was like one of the standard stations across the country. So I was always looking at Wrigley, always seeing the people up on their rooftops watching the game. It's got a hilarious accent that we have very well exemplified in Joe Marisi. Where's the B.I. on that? Where's the B.I.? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. They're holding them all over. They're all over Robinson. We're at the BI. And, and we were out there a couple months ago. And I got to say, it's the fucking coldest fucking place I've ever been. I was freezing Brutal. my fucking... I was three layers deep, and I was freezing my fucking ass off. I, I am not... Uh, Situated or, or or conditioned to live in a place where you got to wear gloves, but I got to give it up to Chicago. It's a great city. It's produced a lot of great art, a lot of great food. Uh, Skip Bayless's brother does good Mexican fusion food out there, and the airports. Have you ever been in a bigger airport? <laughs> I fucking. O'Hare is at the top of my. I fucking hate this airport. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. a big fucking airport. Oh, it's huge. And everyone's like, you try. I don't know. I'm, I'm always going through. It's O'Hare. great for connections. And, it's great for connections. I mean, it's beautiful downtown. <laughs> wide like avenues. Airport. Batman, Dark Knight Rises is shot there. <clears throat> the water comes through. The, the, the you wide, like the water in a city? I like the river that comes through. Dark Vince Vaughn gives there. tours on that on that water boat. Yeah. yeah. The Fugitive. The Breakup. Also, uh, Chicago. A lot of good it's movies got good movies there. there. Yeah. yeah. I love Chicago. And your guys' favorite restaurant, where we haven't done our taste test Portillo's. from Portillo's. 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 I love Portillo's. Yeah. Dude, best hot dogs. Best <laughs> and, hot dogs. And dude, to Great dogs. Strider's What's the best hot fiance, dog her family like comes hot from dog. there. That yeah. was part of it. And when I used to visit you at Notre Dame... Fly into Chicago. I know that's the thing. I don't like Chicago. Too many, too many Grace kids from the Burbs Dame? went to Notre Dame, so and they would talk about Chicago like it was like, like it had no flaws. And I was like, this place isn't. They untied. all have flaws. It, exactly. Yeah. Well, they, but Chicago people don't say that about Chicago. Where do who? They're like telling you it's like the, they're telling you it's like the greatest city that's ever existed on the face of the earth, and that's why the I don't like Bulls, Chicago. Dude, Michael Jordan that's, played basketball in Chicago. He was yeah, the man. You got was, I'm drunk. But look, they've but done some people cool are things. are annoying at Chicago who are like, best city in the world. It's like, why don't you live there then? No, it's not the best city in the world. I know, I'm saying but Chicago pick, people great say it. Pick, and Chicago I love people Chicago. say that it is. And that's what annoys that's me annoying. about it. Right. This, this city is actually great like, skyline. plenty to like. Great, great my skyline. favorite skyline, Chicago. Your favorite? My favorite I, city. I, number one in like the world? Like a picture of a... <laughs> okay, no, U.S. U.S. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. U.S. I was being My favorite skyline. Better than your... Shut up, Siri. My favorite. We're skyline. fired up on this one. You yeah. know, we have a lot of like uh, uh, pride in this one. That's good. One of my That's one good. of my uh, Rockford buddies. It's Illinois. He, we were yep. a little baked going into driving into Chicago. And he's just looking at the skyline and he goes, "Yo, Chicago's got toughness." Yeah. <laughs> and then we all just started laughing at him, but he was like, "Fuck you guys." And I just had to quote him. Only it was really born funny. out of the cold, though, uh, out of that cold weather. And then uh, Chess Records, which I think you can point to as the origins of rock and roll. Muddy Waters, Howlin' Wolf. We saw that one movie about it. Oh, dude, I forgot we're doing five cities. <laughs> five cities. <laughs> you got, yeah, you're going to have some fucking deep cuts on five, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Charles, Charles what when, he he said, <laughs> yeah, when he said When he said five, I got so much anxiety because I had yeah, to yeah. go deep. Maybe this is the first draft where we just do four, dude. Well, <laughs> yeah, I already no, said no five. I know, because I think five will be where you really make your bones if you have a good five right, pick. Right, right. Like, can you, can you pull a good five? Yeah, I did. Move. It's a good move. All right, Shredder, you're up Me too. talking at, at length about how Boise is. <laughs> <laughs> it could be Boise. I'm going to pick Boise, dude. <laughs> City of trees. No disrespect, never been, dude. I was flying there once, and they're like, welcome to Boise, City of trees. <laughs> I just got to get you. I think I'm going to go with... Um, 
<clears throat> I think I'm going to go with Scottsdale, Arizona. Good pick. It's Cabo. There's no water, <laughs> but it's Cabo. It is, dude. That downtown. You've been bangs, to Old Town? Bro. bro, there's fog machines every night of the Monday night, Monday during regular business hours. They have fog machines going. That place is unfucking believable, dude. It's raging. It's unbelievable. Um, it's basically part of Phoenix, so you have a major city network right there. Yeah, I was a, like, well, because I thought you would have said Phoenix and then talk about Scottsdale, but you went Scottsdale and talked about that. Got to leave with Scottsdale, got to, because that's where you're hanging out. When we went out and did a show there, I didn't want to go out there. I was like, dude, it's too far. Let's just go to Mill Street. Right I knew here. you were gonna Phoenix. bail that night. I you knew did. you were gonna bail, dude. dude. It was so funny. Some fan, there's a guy like white right there, like taking photos, and he saw JT calling me out, and he goes, "That was amazing. I got to see him do that live." <laughs> it was incredible. <laughs> He's like, "That was rad, dude. It was so funny. He, like yeah, saw the me, whole you real gave me that interaction." Look, dude. You're like, we're not going out. Because I was talking a big game first. I'm like, we're for sure going. We're for sure going. Then I did like two shots after my set. And I was like, I'm done. <laughs> but yeah. uh, but it was super fun. But dude, place is amazing. You know, the desert heat, look, it can be a lot. But those desert nights, beautiful. I, I don't think there's anything I love more than stand up boning during desert night weather with a breeze yeah. striking you. So I love to, you know what I like to do? Get an yeah, Airbnb good. or Verbo with my fiance and just stand up boom on well cut, well kept grass. And the desert provides that. Sunsets, also, the sunsets are great. The sunsets are beautiful, dude. The American Southwest, beautiful, dude. Um, you know, you got Georgia O'Keeffe posting up out there. Maybe nice that's New Mexico, ref, but dude. something around there. That is New Mexico. It, yeah, but it's close, dude. The, the golf, golf courses, though, <laughs> yeah. The dude. golf course is well kept, dude. If you want to go on a boys' trip, dude, you want to have a steak and fucking play twenty-seven, go to Scottsdale, dude. You'll be in heaven. True North, yeah. Good golf course. Is it? Oh, really? True North, yeah. I played there. Dude, my, I went I went on a boys trip there, got golf and a fat steak. And the That's steak was do. so good that it came out sizzling. It was oh, like dude, when they do that. Sizzling and cracking. Like when you go to Ruth Chris and they come yeah. out and they're like, don't touch the plate. Yeah. Yeah. Because your like, hand will burn off. You will literally burn off. You know what? That's a good point about Ruth Chris, too. Because it's like Ruth Chris's are all over the country. And I don't know where it started, but where do they belong? They belong in the desert. They belong in Scottsdale. Yes. Like when you go to Scottsdale, you're thinking Ruth Chris on your way out there. Yes. Thinking red meat. Mm. Let's and go. you you know, you kinda Hot get a little plate. bit I, I can't give it to you exactly, but you get Phoenix with Scottsdale. You get a little bit of it, exactly. And look, it, Do you get judge, ASU, the best college to party That's at. That's Tempe. On the, on the, in the yeah. West. We're talking about that. Tempe, I know. But ASU's the best party to That's why he could have just taken Phoenix and had all of it. No. no, no, I wasn't gonna give him Scottsdale. No, yeah. I'm more likely to give him Phoenix with Scottsdale than I am to give him Scottsdale with Phoenix. That's what I was hoping. Ask what me I why. was hoping. Why? No reason, bro. <laughs> no, but because he's an artist. Because he's an artist. And dude, <laughs> it's true. That. And look, look, I can't ask for that. That's biting off more than I can chew. I can't ask for that. But I went with Scottsdale because Old Town was so sick, and they have In and Out there, bro. It's one of the few states and cities that has In and Out that's outside of California, and I respect that. Okay, keeping it moving. We're cruising. Are you on number four? This is my number four pick. So you got Las Vegas, San Diego, and Scottsdale. <clears throat> We're raging, dude. You're, you're a guy who likes to have fun. Yeah, you're oh, yeah. a guy who likes to have fun. I like to cruise around. I like to have fun in my own way. You know what I mean? And I like to party in, in a way that I can be comfortable doing so. Now, this is where my list... I was hoping to snake a few cities that you guys already have. Let's see. You were entirely in the Southwest. <laughs> yeah, I need to get oh, out of the Southwest. Oh, whoa, Aaron, geographically. Right. Aaron, I whoa. need to get out of the Southwest. Aaron, that's borderline like a... Helping. Yeah. It's a fact. It's a fact. It's, it's a not, fact. It's not an opinion. Dude, I could have done this list and been all in California, bro. That's how much California can uh, rip. I'm right there with you. Know, oh, I'm yeah. I'm right there with you. It can rip I'm it Dude, up I was thinking about you, it, bro. like, just going Mammoth. all South Orange County. Literally, <laughs> down. Yeah, literally. One, two, three, four. Mission via hill. You know what, dude? Mission via hill. I want to double down hard right now, yeah. dude, and take an OC town, but I'm not going to do it, dude, because I got San Diego, but I really want to. Because I don't mind being a homer, because, uh... You guys might have just changed my list. This shit's fired up, dude. We're fucking competing right now, dude. <laughs> this Fuck, gonna be, dude. It's gonna get interesting. Fuck, I'm dude. Pretty nervous. Fuck. Yeah, say it. Is. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go Greenville, South Carolina. Whoa! I went small, 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 tiny, tiny, you tiny. You don't town. think that would have been there at five? <laughs> Here's the thing. I can't think. <laughs> Aaron scared me. He made me go east. <laughs> <laughs> Greenville rips though, bro. Greenville We've is all sick. been there. That I've never been. Drag is beautiful. And dude. I've got party towns. I've got a place I want to live. Now this is a small town. It's got a river that runs through it. And um, look, 
Is this a great pick? No. But the city's cool. It's got comedy clubs. And dude, South Carolina, dude, fucking great. Dude, the weather was amazing, bro. You're not on the coast, so you don't have a hurricane warning. But if you want to get to the coast, you can drive. But it's got a river running through it. It's tight. They've got a good steakhouse. There's really not much going on. It's really not that great of a pick. But dude, South, Greenville, South Charming. Carolina is pretty rad, dude. It's pretty charming. There was a Marriott Bonvoy that we stayed in. It was pretty nice. And dude, it was nice. The weather's amazing. The people are great. It's not a good pick. They got a nice <laughs> mall. You can have a really fun time they down there, nice dude. Mall. And uh, you nice can cruise mall. around. Dude, they have an REI. JT bought a good <laughs> hat, like dude. From there, and, there's, dude. And, there's, and there's no, it's a bad pick. And, 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 and dude. <laughs> <laughs> you like you were born there. Do you want to know the best part is? I never went to the mall. I yeah, yeah, bought a hat there. Yeah, I went to the mall. The mall's nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The mall was nice. And he goes, he goes, yeah, dude, not a liar. It is Nordstrom, dude. You can listen to Jack Shepard. Shepherd's podcast on the way to the mall. It's great. <laughs> bro, 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 there's it's not that many really traffic nice. lights. You can get where you need to be. Dude. Yeah. Uh, dude, they've got friendly veterinarians yeah, my, my there. Friend Frank. Yeah. <laughs> dude, the dude, dude, it's yeah. not a good pick. Dude, uh, but dude, they've got a lot of fun yeah. stuff. Dude, South yeah, Carolina. Um, the state of South Carolina is tight. This is one city in that state. And, yeah, no, they got uh, Charleston. It's a dude, better city than this Martin. place. Yeah, dude, dude, cool city, dude. Uh, yeah, dude, so, dude, that's my pick, dude. All right, hey, I'm guys, uh, when you see Brad, just tell him I say hey. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, uh, uh. All right, I'm going with the, the city for me that has the most American spirit, historically, uh, um, personally, and then artistically. I don't know if any city has produced more films that I love than this city. I'm going... Boston, Massachusetts. The best accent, the best fans, the best fucking energy, dude. I mean, what do we know Boston for? Being combative, right? Being annoying. For fighting. Being annoying as fuck, dude, but in a very American way. <laughs> and then they got the clam chowder. And then, dude, dude, look, that's Goodwill exactly. Hunting, The Departed. I love Mystic Rail. No, you're speaking my town. If I found myself picking Boston, my argument was going to be Chowda and Boston movies. Yeah, <laughs> like that's yeah, like, yeah. Cause like that alone is like good enough that like yeah, you're going to be up there. Like I'm, I'd be totally happy with it in this. And spot. then like historically, like you go back American Revolution, it has a role in that. It's been a relevant place forever, and it's just a. It, I, I've only been there a couple times, but, <laughs> it's, but the I get spirit it. of it looms large across the country. We all know what Boston is. It's a uh, kind of the definitive American city. I feel like, and then the movies, dude. It's just got the best fucking movies. They're great, and it gave us Matt Damon and Ben Affleck. Exactly. Thank you. And dude, Ben Affleck's is, my hero. This, this is the he exact order I was gonna go in about me if I ever found myself picking. Boston. And all the colleges. It's, it's got, got a lot, lot of colleges. Them. It's got a lot yeah. of colleges. Harvard, MIT, you meet some fucking lottie da motherfucker. Yeah. Where'd you go to college? I went to school in Boston. How about them apples? Yeah. And so yeah, I'm going to uh, I'm going Boston number four. It also has Emerson. Emerson, yeah. Dennis Leary went there. Greg Fitzsimmons, a lot Ray of great comedians. John Stewart. All the comedians yeah, John Stewart played soccer there. He was funniest guy on his team. Yeah. Boston. Boston. Celtics suck. Boston. What movie yeah, my fans are annoying. No, Celtics rip, dude. Larry Bird? No, oh, yeah, no. But I'm a Lakers fan. But yeah, no, they're great. But but do we but do we love the Lakers as much if we don't have the Celtics rivalry? You need that rivalry. How many great Save documentaries have come out of Boston sport? Dude, the Patriots? They're title uh, town USA. The Patriots. Yeah, the yeah, but they were good. Yeah, you they, gotta give them props. And I don't they're know if anyone's Boston. gonna pick the other city, but they're playing Fox. For me, there's only one other city that compares with them in terms of sports fandom. If you rate sports oh, fandom by belligerent like, acts of violence, yeah, <laughs> this, yeah. this is the only Oakland? other city. I've never been there. No, 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 no. What well, other city is violent? Well, we'll find out. We'll find oh, out. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm hammered. <laughs> I'm I got. Hammered. You know what? I need because uh, I'm picking Boston. Yeah, Boston, <laughs> dude. Dude, you can't, dude. Have you ever driven in Boston? Good luck, dude. It's a disaster, dude. dude. Come on. I just gotta talk shit. <laughs> yeah. dude, remember, when, remember, I talk shit. remember when we went to Paul Revere's house? <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. We were in there. We were like, it was, it was cool. cold as fuck, yeah. dude. We did like the, the, the constitutional uh, walk. Dude. Yeah, the yeah. USS Indianapolis. Is that what it's called? USS Constitution. Yeah. That's sick. A lot of closed. history there. There's a lot closed. of history there. I do like that history. I do like that. I gotta say though, good comedy town. Great Those lobster rolls we got sucked. That good. Not they that suck. great. Here's no. the thing. Lobster Not that rolls great. Suck. Look in the weather. I kind of yeah. I agree. Yeah. The weather blows, but it's Boston. It matters to America. It does matter. Did we saw Boston cop? <laughs> we saw him. It was like the most stereotypical Boston cop. 
fucking yeah people are pissed shivering off and he's there, pissed dude. off dude yeah. yeah it's unreal all right chad you're up no, no. Chris. oh chris sorry i keep fucking that up uh <sighs> Got to take a West Coast city. Going to go San Fran. That was going to be my other pick. That's a great pick. Um, Levi Jeans. <laughs> Hell yeah. Bridges. It's uh, getting a lot of bad pub lately. But look, a lot, <laughs> lot of history. Very cool city. Great food. Different cultures. Good chowder. Uh, they have good chowder? Mm-hmm. Well, probably. Fisherman's it's Wharf, great yeah. seafood. Yeah, a lot of iconic spots, iconic hills. Led to mm. some cool scenes in <laughs> movies. Hills. Well, yeah, <laughs> I know it's true. It's just a funny. Thing. It's got a, a big, beautiful dude. So you got a city. big tech scene. So it's got like that thing. Yeah, they give us Apple, Google, close to Silicon Valley. Yeah, you oh, got you're not giving it Silicon. No, no, it's San no fucking chance. San wow, San Jose. No chance. Wow. No chance. But they're in, it's, it's intertwined. Serious. I mean, it's. 45 minutes away. And it has the... I mean, look, I don't want to talk shit, but the microclimates there, horrendous. Dude, yeah. I mean, I... <laughs> it's... Uh, you're horrendous. there in the summer, it's like 50 degrees. You're like, it's what the fuck fucking, is going on? Oscar Wilde himself said the coldest winter he ever spent was a summer in San Francisco. Dude. That's... that's, that's yeah. Mark Twain, that's, yeah. There you go. But you know what? But here's the thing. It's misattributed to Mark Twain, yeah, though. He, but I saw that on also Jeopardy. Said it. I'm kidding. <laughs> hey, uh, I think Fleetwood Mac recorded rumors there. Bang. Oh, Metallica? Lucas yeah. Films was located close by. Do you get Oakland with that too? Like all that Oakland flavor? No, I don't think so. It's connected. You get Barry Bonds hitting those fucking dingers though. For yeah. sure. You still get the Warriors, dude. Yeah, the Warriors are in It's a great city, dude. <clears throat> it's a great, great city. Culturally, artistically, historically. I mean, and then I think when we when we're in fourth grade and we're learning about California history, San Francisco. Oh is, yeah, hub of the gold rush is the entree of that. The gold rush, dude. The 49ers. That's where everyone moved here. Yeah. Chasing yeah, gold. A, and everyone moves here for different reasons. Am I doing... That was meant to be profound. Four and five? <laughs> yeah. Did I, I do two right now? Yeah. Yeah. I gotta go with this one because I just love visiting there. I go on tours every time I go there. It's beautiful. It's got beautiful monuments, beautiful buildings, beautiful women. <laughs> I'm listening. Albuquerque. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, I was just quot- quoting Ashley Detroit. Schaefer. Uh, it's Washington, D.C. Good pick, dude. The home of America. I was take it. I was Our nation's capital. Today. Every time I, like, I love it. When listen. I go there, when, when I, when I. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You gotta listen. I don't know. Yeah. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. That was <laughs> book, he's bookended yeah, yeah, book I mean, something. I got, I got but, Graceland know. and I got, yeah. D.C. was um, good. Okay. <laughs> I, um. Every time I go there, like, there's no other city where I'm driving around and my eyes are fucking peeled. I'm, like, looking around at different monuments and shit and then all the museums. What's the fucking Arlington Cemetery? Smithsonian? Shit like that. Smithsonian. It's... The Holocaust Museum. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's got like seven in the morning, bro. You put it's got, in the effort. It's got yeah. like so many of those kind of things. You yeah, know? one you can learn a lot. The cherry there. blossoms. Historical significance beautiful. is huge. And dude, yeah. and actually, when we went out there for our first paid gig, yeah, Georgetown is beautiful, man. Georgetown, the, the cool the good, spot. good schools. Six, yeah, M Street is it M Street? Sick ass. I don't know. Over there? But the whole, like, it, when you go there, especially that Georgetown area, it's just beautiful. Like. uh it has that old... I mean, I just love that. I mean, it has the fucking... It has the White House, dude. The Capitol. Capitol Mall. So much crazy stuff has happened there. I mean, there's, you got the Lincoln Memorial MLK speech. Mm-hmm. Um, January 6th. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> that was a lot of fun when I was that there. That was fucking sick. Yeah. yeah, yeah, was, yeah I yeah. went out there with my priest. It was fun. Bro. Dude, Aaron has the best photo from there. You he, he had your shirt off. <laughs> just cr- running through. Aaron, do dude. you think this is BS with the new Trump indictment? I'm sorry, never mind. All right, <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh shit, dude. Okay. So your list all together now is New York, New York, Charleston, Nashville, Washington D.C. Charleston in the duel. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I took Greenville that over that. That was so dude. bold, bro. I didn't that even was think. So I, I, I didn't even, honestly, I was not even thinking about placement there. 
Oh, we know. I just was, I, I just like, it sounds so sick. <laughs> yeah, it does seem sick. It sounds it like a sick city. city. It looks good on Bravo Shows 100. Uh, pff, man, this is fucking, this is tough. Yeah, we're, that's the thing. We're getting pretty deep. Yeah, no, you gotta go. You gotta go deep cuts. It's not I gonna mean, be a big pop on this. And I have no idea. One. Exactly. I mean, I gotta go with one of my favorite. I, I gotta go back to California. I gotta go Orange County. Well, you can't pick Orange County. No, I'm not going to Orange County. Oh, okay. Uh, so, yeah. so, 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 sorry. My bad. Uh, Jumped the gun there. I gotta go oh, Orange. Same thing. I gotta go Orange County. I gotta go with Newport Beach. Good pick. I thought you were I gonna say it. orange. <laughs> dude, yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> dude. I gotta go with Santa Ana, bro. Uh, <laughs> Good mayor there. I like the mayor there. Dude, the best mayor. Oh, yeah, Sarmiento. Dude, that guy's dude. a stud. He's a, he's a stand up guy. Uh, Newport, favorite place to visit in OC. Best party scene, best 4th of July, best Pokey Bowls, Bear Flag, shout out. Uh, please sponsor us. Um, Bear Flag, legit. Best beaches, Good Waves. Really good waves. They got the wedge, wedge yeah. dude. Fifty fourth Street, River Jetties. Uh, I met my, you know, my woman is lived there, and I would visit her. We Fuck would get yeah. we get blue bowl acai bowls if you're ever in Newport, or in Orange County get blue bowl. I love a nice acai bowl, dude. Put it up your butt, dude. Yeah, dude. It's great to sit on. Dude, yeah, <laughs> I get nice too. On a hot summer oh, yeah. day, on a hot no. summer day, I'm not gonna eat an acai bowl. No, dude, exactly. dude, yeah, yeah. Dude, you get blue, you get that blue chai pudding, just put it right oh, in your bro. butt, dude. Yeah, it's right dude, dude, but it goes he's right in. It goes right in. Tree. Do you need a spoon for that? No. No. <laughs> dude, I think we're going six cities. No. <laughs> no. Fuck I, you, dude. Uh, we're going eight. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. Newport is. I mean, it's referenced in. This is one thing about Newport that I love too. It's referenced in Ocean's Eleven, where Terry Benedict is saying to Brad Pitt when he's on the phone with him, he's like, "If I find that you pull up yeah. in a sports car in Newport Beach, I'm gonna be very disappointed." I kind of botched that, but the no, fact that yes. the fact that it's like if he pulls off the heist and he ends up in Newport Beach, then he's got the best life ever, which shows right. that Newport Beach is the top. Rips. And also, they've got fucking. Houses with docks, and you can park your yacht there. I remember during COVID, it was the place to party. <laughs> you go, oh and, yeah, bro. You go, and it was just like a whole new world. <laughs> just get COVID, dude. Yeah. No, they acted as if it didn't exist, and it was a better way to live. It didn't. Because they were all yeah. happier. They were like, "How could I get COVID or die?" Yeah. When my real estate game is this bang, and, and yeah. I have a seventy foot Bertram, like dude, I'm kind of the man. I remember. I remember like summer 2020. I was with my buddy Nick, and we were in Newport. And it was still like peak COVID. We just see this yacht called Beer Money. Everyone's mm. making out on there. And I was like, dude, damn. You weren't dude. even allowed to make out back then. Yeah, you weren't allowed to make out. Dude. Not even your yeah. wife. Yeah. And these dude. people were having orgies. Dude, yeah. <laughs> Not even oh, your yeah, mom. That's turn it. Dude, yeah. And these guys were like <laughs> 50, saying, too. You know. <laughs> they were like 50 just making out. Yeah, but I, I can just imagine how tan they were. Exactly, dude. This guy's tan. <laughs> oh, dude. The crust of, of tan. Like, like, the thing about Newport is it's got some of the tannest, uh, muscular, like, 50 plus dudes yeah. that you'll find. Yeah. yeah. Great tans. Probably the best tans in the country. I love Miami. Might, might take that spot. Miami is fucking sick. But, yeah, Newport Beach. I'm going to go with my wife's hometown, Louisville, Kentucky. Nice. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> what, artsy, what, what artsy there? southern town, <laughs> bourbon. A lot of stuff came out of they Louisville, export, right? They export. I'm going to tell you what came out. Okay, you guys ready? Big bourbon. horses. <laughs> yeah, it's true. The Derby. Sluggers. Uh, yeah, Louisville Sluggers, but that one's not that cool. Uh, dude, coaches who were good at getting in scandals. You know, Ooh, Rip Pitino, like Pitino. That. yeah, Seth and Eddie. Petrino. Jesse. Oh, and Petrino. That's my favorite scandal of all time. But he got in that at Arkansas. But he was he coached at Louisville too before. Ooh. And didn't he have a, he had another scandal before that? It one. doesn't matter. Uh, Tom Cruise reps it because he lived there for some of high school. Oh, really? Yeah, nice. his parents are from there. I think, dude, Papa John. That guy. He's from there? He's from, yeah. Dude, nice. That's where it started, dude. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. He's, a, he's, he's dicey, bro. Oh, yeah, but, like, it's dude, funny. Papa John's dude, that guy. Yeah. Kentucky Fried Chicken. You know? He's a, he might be one. Yeah. Boom, yeah. there you go. It's the Yum Center. They're, they're, uh, they're Is the Colonel from there? And it's, like, a, and it's like a southern city that's, like, artsier and liberal. You know what I mean? I liked having one of those in there, kind of round out the list. Mm. I uh, My dad's moving to Kentucky. He loves it. 
Where where is it? Moving? Not Louisville, Raleigh. No, that's North Carolina. Lexington? Wherever the other Lexington, yeah. Never been. Mm. It's fine. You'd like it. I'm just saying that. <laughs> hey Strider, I know you'd like it. Okay. Ooh, dude, you know, we should go to the Derby. I've been. It's very nice. We should hey, go to the Muhammad Derby. Ali dude. Came out of there. Yeah. Fucking beast. I've been to Louisville. It's sick. I saw a country concert. Played in Junior Olympics. Who'd you there. see? It was tight. <laughs> saw a guy playing from far away. I think it was Kenny Chesney. Oh, sick. Yeah. That's sick. awesome. All right, cool. All right. Um, look, there's a lot of great cities still on the board. There are. Are there really? And uh, here's the thing. I got, I got some great American cities. You know, some pillars of American commerce and population. But I think the thing I'm lacking is a place you want to leave one of those places to go visit. Now, if you live in California, what's the one place better to go to? Where you're like, I'm going to get a better beach vibe. I'm going to get a better chill. I'm going to get better pokey. Oh, boy. There's only one. Oh, boy. Cabo. Close. If I could pick it, I would. I promise you I thought about it. And I was <laughs> Salt Lake City. <laughs> I'm going to go Honolulu, Hawaii. I like, I like Hawaii. That. I like that move. This is a good pick. My favorite grocery store, Foodland. The best pokey I have ever had. The best mango I've ever had. I feel like I'm closest to Hawaii out of all of our picks. <laughs> huh? So I get all of Hawaii, bro. Yeah, I was gonna say no. no you kind of like yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honolulu I get all of Hawaii. Oh, no, no, no. Well, well, you're, oh, you're, you're closer than Charleston. There's other cities I know. There's other ah! cities I know. Well, so if Strider picks that other city, I just Hawaii, get Scottsdale, I, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, no, you get no, there's Honolulu. There's better cities in Hawaii. Bro. I get Honolulu. You get Honolulu. But, but, yeah, Honolulu but, but I'm sucks, but bro. Honolulu blows. But if you pick, he gets worse. Yeah, it's terrible. It's the worst, but it's the it's the epicenter. If you pick my city. No, no but you're you doesn't mean you get the fucking I get all of it. You don't get all of it. You get some of it. You don't get all of it. I get all of it. No, you don't get all of it. You don't get all of it. You get some of it. Because I would make Honolulu too good, but it's not. If you pick Honolulu, like, obvious. Hold on. But like, you can go to other places from there. That's cool, dude. I'm going to go there to leave. Why are you picking that? How close it's up. I'm going to pick Denver so I can fly to fucking Scottsdale. No, no, no. No, no, dude. no, 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 because I, I, no, this is, this, I'm, it's not the same. <laughs> I know, I know, I'm fucking around. But what, what, what city is closest sucks. to like North Beach? North Shore? North Shore. North Shore is on, uh, it is on not even on the same island. It's on yeah, the it's fucking on, Maui. It, no, it's on Oahu. Okay, all right, all right. But, <laughs> but. <laughs> Thank God. But it's an hour away. <laughs> it's an hour. That's, that, that counts. No. An hour? You, you, well, can't, like, you like, can't play this island game where like, you no, have proximity. Time, no, but like. What are you talking about? Of course I can play that game. No, I like can't. LA, you get the mountains and they're like an hour away. Here's the thing. So, so, it, because you pick, I don't get North Shore, it's an hour away? No, you pick Honolulu. Yeah, because it's an hour away. Yeah, no, it's a nice thing about Honolulu that North Shore is an hour away. But yeah, that doesn't, that's like no, I get that's I, no, I get fan? North Shore. I get no, North you Shore. get you get the city <laughs> of Honolulu. No, I get North Shore. No, you don't. That's not, that's bullshit. <laughs> that's not bullshit. Yeah, if you want a uh, North Shore, you pick Honolulu. When you did DC, oh, 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 no, you, can't fly, oh, hold on. you can't fly why into why there. Why like why that's not, not even real. I got you because when you pick DC, you mentioned things that were in Arlington. You counted oh. Arlington with DC. Yeah, you right. get you Whoa. get yeah. Close. Yeah, I, I <laughs> picked the cemetery. Okay. Yeah, that's All a right, huge I'll, deal. I'll you got the eternal flame. Thing. Yeah, it's, a, it's, there across, there. it's across the river, bro. Yeah, yeah, no, it's, you it's right there. Arlington. That's right there. I'm gonna check up on Georgetown too. <laughs> I mean, here's the thing. <laughs> yeah, it's a little different. Georgetown's like LA. You get LA. You get Redondo because it's like a all-encompassing thing. Also, like being yeah, uh, Honolulu being, County, but bro. like being a city that's an hour away from something that's really cool is a huge plus. You're only an hour away, yeah, but like that's, that's very nice. Idea. Every but like every every city has shit dude, that's Denver's like outside the city that's from cool. A lot of cool shit, but like if you dude. go on a hike an hour outside of Denver or skiing an outside no, counts, an hour outside, like you're so, like what about skiing? It's got to count. So, so in it's Nashville, like I get thing. all of Tennessee. Yeah, big uh, coup. Yeah, but like, but like, yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> you get all. Hey, bro, you I also like, get Graceland. Like what he said. I get Graceland, dude. Graceland, that means bro. I get Graceland. Yeah, you get Graceland, bro, yeah, dude. I got Graceland. Well, I get North Shore. That's fine. I'll take it. No, no, but, but you, for you the get record, the city. If it's the like city of Honolulu, like city of Honolulu. Suck. Yeah, dude. You ever been there? It sucks. It's not that bad. I was there three months ago. It's wonderful. Yeah, I had a blast. No, Honolulu's not that bad. Honolulu's very bad. I've been there. I spent a week there. You're only comparing it to all the other Hawaiian places. Yeah, all the way better places in Hawaii. I'm the closest. Closest exactly. there. I'm the closest oh. there. Aaron, oh, how's way this? better places in Hawaii, dude. 
It, I had to pick a city. But you know what? You're smart. I had to pick a city. There, there's you're Lahaina. Smart. Guys, we did pick. No, guys, 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 guys. It's a city, bro. I, know, I we believe did you. Best American cities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm Waimea. picking cities. Honolulu. Oh, no, not Honolulu. Waimea. <laughs> Fucking what Chad said, Kona, dude. I'm, dude, yeah, good call. <laughs> no, I, I'm, I feel good with Honolulu. You're up. You got yeah, the last. Finish pick. us off. Yeah, and All don't right. you dare get outside the city lines. Don't you dare. Yeah, I don't, I don't like. I don't you like... said we're um fucking uh the, the fucking. I'll leave it, bro. <laughs> okay, yeah, bro. That. Go do that. Do that. No, dude, no, that would no, be no. hilarious. Uh, like other things well, outside yeah. of the city exist when you pick the city. You don't just yeah, drop yeah, away at the yeah, city but, limits. But, yeah, but here's the thing, bro. But, but islands, bro. It's an island, bro. It's an island, dude. No, I got North Shore, islands are baby. so small, dude. I've been it's to like, Honolulu on, bro, bro, twice. Bro. I love it. I, did, I don't. I did I, when we. I, I you like, ever driven? But, but you ever you, driven on the island, bro? Pick, pick, I have. Dude, pick. But have pick. you ever been yeah, in Honolulu where you're count. driving in no, the city? I, no, you're like, I, wow, what a great. You city. guys are really just saying hard on Honolulu. I'm just saying like it's really hard. I said, yeah, you guys are jaywalking ticket in Honolulu. That's what I'm saying right now. I'm not saying you guys all have experience. I'm saying you've all been there. We've never crossed this much on a podcast. I'm not saying it doesn't. Suck. I'm Why saying are you guys sucks. are nitpicking Honolulu more no, than but, we have but other you, ones. You can't, uh, uh, Same thing, my brother. Yeah, of course. My picked on me. They well, fired like, us up. We're a few more beers deep. Thank your monster's you a little bit deeper. Look, I'm glad you have your boys back, but we got to talk shit. Go, you yeah. go. I want to hang out hey, with you. Go, pick yours. yours. Now. Pick yours. So <laughs> yeah, what do you want to do? Pick yours, dude, and poo all over. Also, it, okay? also, I am stalling and looking at cities right now. I'm like, all right, fuck, dude. Yeah, now I want to pick six. Oh, no, man. God, yeah, let's go no. ten. <laughs> let's go never, ten. Never, never, what never, never. What you think never, about never, that, Aaron? Never, never. never. <laughs> no. No. We're never, never leaving. Never, 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 ever getting back. Hey, I'm gonna together. need another one of these. I don't even know what I'm gonna pick for this fifth pick, dude. I wrote so my list down. What does it on there? Man, man I'm, I, yeah. The honorable mention is really huge. Wait, there's one that hasn't been mentioned that's did huge. I, did I fuck up? Honorable mention. Is this? Who's this? So That's, that, I put this right here. That's terrible. Don't drink that. Is that yours? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad, dude, if you take a sip of that. That's terrible. Uh, George Lopez is IPA. Dude, he's on the fucking thing. I, hey, look, I love you, George. Hey, he didn't brew it himself. <laughs> yeah, no. So, no, no, it yeah, says sorry, that he brewed brother. it himself. <laughs> it's, actually, it's actually a dude from Stone, but that brewed it. Stone but, is good. Uh, yeah. St Stone Brewery in San Quit Diego. stalling, dude. Yeah, just pick a city. Dude, I know, bro. The shot clock ran out. You get a penalty. Yeah, maybe I don't get a pick if I can't pick I in the next it. fucking I little bit it. here. This is what it's all fucking about. Fucking shit, yeah. just bro. Where have I been? That's battle. tight. Where have I been? That's tight. <laughs> Nowhere, dude. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you're stalling again. <laughs> just pick. I have a... This is hilarious. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Honolulu. Dude, I know a good city. I know a good city. No, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Uh, dude, fucking, I'm gonna go with fucking. Um... Okay, come on. I haven't been anywhere. Have you guys seen any good movies recently? Dude, just pick. <laughs> <laughs> you know what you want to do. Oklahoma City. Are you just trying to like figure out how to bend this? Yes. Oh, I'm trying to think. Oh, I have oh, a city I'll tell that, you, that I I'll could tell get you that's by yours. But then I don't even have Dude, any there's city some big cities still like on to. the board. And there's, there's, there's a bend that I have a connection to that's tight. Oh, you know what? There's a big, good city that we haven't picked. Yep. There's several. There's, a, there's several. So, like, you have a couple that you can aim for. I you know. might be on it. Just spit it out. No, don't you do that. Don't right, you right, do right, that. Right. I was going to look at Google. I was going to look at Google. Okay, I'm going to look at Google. This will move forward. Yeah, pull up Google Maps and just zoom in on every state. Where have I been recently? We can wait. I'm starting the clock. Please, 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 please. Sorry, excuse me. Monster bubble. This might hurt my just list. Right, just it's that like carnit right like carnitine, dude. Dude, you get carnitine in you? talking with What happens to him, dude? Do five. This is my dude, favorite ingredient. Taurine. Taurine, taurine gets you jacked, dude. <laughs> Guarana? <laughs> Guarana just jacks up your boner. That's that's a fact. Dude, this is All right, you know what I'm going to go with? All right, here we go. I got one. It's a fact. Fuck it. This is one that I, I wrote down earlier. <clears throat> This is a nice place. Just <laughs> say it, dude. Let's go, dude. Right, Let's right. go. Then you can talk about it right, after. Fine, fine, fine. I'm going to go with Napa Valley, dude. What? <laughs> no, dude, you got to be specific, you gotta bro. Napa. You got the valley, bro. Napa. Napa. Isn't it called Napa Valley? Let me see, let me see. Oh, I'm thinking of Napa, whatever that is, dude. The fucking, that's a good pick. The that's fucking good wine pick. country, no, dude. The wine country. That's what I'm talking about. Napa I don't know if it's called Napa Valley, dude. Napa City, dude, whatever the fuck it is, dude. <laughs> 
Uh, <laughs> it's just called it's Napa it's County. Just Napa. There is a city. We're all the sick ass. You're picking Napa. You're all picking the Napa. Sick ass wines are from. You know what I mean? Like when you look at a bottle and you don't know what to order on the Mondavi, wine menu, you bro. see one that says Napa, and you go, "I'll take that." That's a good pick. And everyone goes, "Nice." Yeah. Dude, here's great. the thing. Napa, <clears throat> great couples trip. Also, I'm gonna throw this out there for advice. Great bachelor party destination because mm. every bachelorette party goes to Napa Valley, dude. Smart. So you're over there and you are talking it up with the ladies. You go yourself to Del Dotto. You go down to the chambers of Del Dotto Winery where they give you a nice fucking pizza after you've been getting nice, after you've been revisiting bottles because you don't want to be gauche and say, give me more. It's a great time. They have great fucking restaurants, dude. They, if you want to have a nice, fine um, dining. They got a lot of Michelin rated restaurants, dude. They got French laundry, dude, where my boy Newsom's posting up, dude. <laughs> and <clears throat> you can, they have a bar there where it's all about just smoking cigarettes. I walked in then, then walked directly out. And it's got, it's a great roadside town, too. It's, of course, Napa Valley. The, the, the land value is huge, and I'm big on that now. But, um, <laughs> You go through the little town since JT's getting um, North Shore. I will also take. There's a little town that starts with H. I think it's called like Henry. Healdsburg. Yeah, maybe that's my boy Chase is from. Yeah, Shout out Chase. It's what a up? beautiful little town to drive through. What they up? got Gotts Roadside, Chase. some of the dankest wait, burgers wait you ever had. Say, no, you don't get that. So it's bro. a beautiful. No, you beautiful and since, it's, since he got uh, mm. since he got North Shore, I did San Fran, so I also get your pick now. We also mm, already yeah. said yeah. you didn't get Silicon Valley, so no, you don't. So <laughs> I'll be taking Napa. <laughs> And it's uh, also geographically you have the best geographically a you have wonder the best of the world. It's a geographic wonder of the world because the way the valley is situated, the winds hit it, and, and it's just a perfect climate for going good grape. All right, let's go. All right, so honorable mentions. I mean, we didn't do Dallas, Portland. Philly. Dallas, Dallas sucks. Philly, Dallas Portland. sucks without Fort Worth. It's one of the smaller towns in the United States. Dude, Dallas Houston. sucks. If it's one, Houston, if it's one airport, airport though, if it's one airport, that airport's airport. a hell of a I should be able to say Dallas. We should Fort just do airports. And, as a draft. and I know, I know. I would love to do I'm that. I'm sure. I'm sure a lot of oh. listeners are upset about this. Atlanta. Atlanta. Yeah. Atlanta, well, really you were going Olympics. for a while. I thought you were going to go there when you were doing all the strip, strip clubs. clubs. I know. P or Portland. I thought about Portland. Portland, Portland. Seattle. But Portland sucks. Portland, Seattle. Seattle. There, dude. Yeah. It's oh, fucking yeah. dark and rainy. It sucks did you, ass. Oh, you did. Wait, 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 wait. It's a great town. So, so are we... Are we done? In our estimations, Aaron, in your estimations, do we... If we have the closest proximity to some surrounding areas, is that beneficial to our pick? If you live there, if, sure. it, if you're visiting... Yeah, sure. Because we have, for some of them, it's it's nice that you live there. There are reasons that you like living there. If you live in that city, then that's the thing that's drivable that's how you got is nice. No, no, San Diego. I mean, it's Pendleton's still, cool yeah. as a Marine base, but also yeah. the Navy hub is in San Diego I, County, in Oceanside. Sure, so it's I, a huge military town. I, I think sure, it's, sure. it's a, a factor. Yeah, but, but it's not you the whole gotta, you gotta focus on the city. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. but yeah. like it's it should be given some weight towards towards yeah. in. But like you know, you if you're Boise, drivable to a place, that's that's a good. If you pick Boise, you don't city. get Sun Valley. For no, sure. no, of course, of yeah. course, no, that's true. No. But yeah, that is like yeah, you don't get Sun Valley, it's, but it is. It's close almost like nice. you do get it if your city is the one you have to fly into to get to that place. Yeah, for real, like that's like a yeah. Um, not that there's not a smaller regional airport, but like it's definitely one of the main ones to get there. Travel plans, yeah. Dude, uh, it's at least one A. What about Palm Springs? Palm Springs. Amazing. I love Palm Springs. Amazing. I love Palm Springs. I love thought Palm about Springs. it. Athens, Georgia, supposed to be cool. Savannah's that. supposed to be cool. Haven't been to those. Yeah, Savannah's supposed Have to be awesome. Have been to Tahoe. That was Tahoe pretty fucking fun. Charlotte, J Jackson Hole, uh, Charlotte, Jackson, Jackson Hole, Bozeman, oh, Park City, City Aspen. Yeah. We didn't do yeah. any mountain Salt towns. Flagstaff. I went Honolulu over the mountain towns because I'm more of a beach guy. Actually, um, you know what? There's a peak. Park oh, City. There is a peak Salt on, Lake the, on City. the Big Island. Man, I think my list is really well-rounded, so pretty cool. Yeah, Denver. I don't know if it's a winning one, but like, it is well-rounded. I got beach. Oh, whoa, skiing. whoa, 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 whoa. Jake just sent me a... <laughs> what? Okay, here's here's What's the here's the, oh. here's the real-time data from... Uh, from our listeners. Wow. Who won round five? Sixty seven percent have me winning with Honolulu. I like the Honolulu pick. <laughs> oh, okay. Is an hour five slot? Is an hour is an, gotta talk shit. is an hour away the same city? Sixty five percent say no. Whoa. Who won round four? Um I, I won with Boston. Who wins round Bad two? Taste. Strider won with San Diego. Who won round three? It's real close, but Chad won with Nashville. 
Um, and then who won round one? Uh, Chad won with the NY. Those are the, those are the votes as they're oh, coming. I, you Your know, list is I, bouncing back. Great yeah, intel, and, Jake. Thank and you. I got consistent second places in there too. I didn't win in any round. No, but you were up there in all of them. That's the thing. I got a solid list. I don't know if it's a winning one, but like it's solid. <laughs> the funniest. One I don't. I don't think I have yeah, a Miami, bro. You got Miami. Yeah, Miami. I got Miami. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Miami I, I, rips, dude. You might have won round one, bro. Round five. Round five. And New York. I can't argue that. No, no. R New York sucks. Round five. <laughs> city of Napa. <laughs> it's just so funny. yeah. Fucking the city of Napa. It is dude. sick though. Uh, you know, you it's talking Sonoma about you County, talking about but it's Napa, dude. You talking about maybe want to go do a wine tasting? Trip. Yeah, you sell it the best. Yeah. You're yeah. a great salesman. That's what I do, bro. I'm gonna sell you a bottle of wine. So case, I love it. You're going to take it home. I love <clears throat> it. All right, Aaron. Yep. It's time. Okay. Oh, this it's is time to get ahead. Drop the, axe, the stakes dude. are high. And maybe, on this one. should he go for, uh, front to back because who, someone's getting cut, or should he do fourth first? Well, let oh. me read. Oh. So, who, who do we yeah. know is fucking getting asked? Yeah, I think, yeah, start it first and then go back. Good call. Save dude. the drama, dude. Good call, dude. All right, let me read off your list real quick. So, Chad's got New York City. Charleston, Nashville, D.C., Newport Beach. Good list. Chris, Miami, New Orleans, Denver, San Francisco, Louisville. Good list. JT, L.A., Austin, Chicago, Boston, Honolulu. Bro, I like that list, actually. Austin, Boston. Austin, uh, Boston. Uh, Strider has right. Vegas, San Diego, Scottsdale, Greenville, <laughs> Napa. That is the worst <laughs> list. <laughs> Dude, hey, hey, when you guys talk to Brad, just let him know I say There's what not up, even dude. cities on that list. <laughs> He's got four non-cities. You ever been to Vegas, bitch? <laughs> no, like dude, city, towns. bro. Those are like four towns. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. you sold it the best, though. Yeah. I thought you were winning. No, yeah. it's a great list. <laughs> Wait, can you read Shredder's list? list? Can you read yeah, Shredder's list again? Time. Yes. Las Vegas. Great city. San Diego. Sick-ass city. Scottsdale. Sick-ass city. Rips. Greenville. <laughs> Greenville's cool. Napa. <laughs> Napa's <laughs> tight. <laughs> Dude, when you say it again, that's a great list, bro. That's a great list, dude. I think you guys are wrong. Yeah, if you're dude. 83 and it's the last two <laughs> yeah. weeks of your life. Yeah, 83 yeah. in Scottsdale, dude. Actually, yeah, that's a smart place to go if you're 83 in Scottsdale. No, no, it's, a, it's, it's, good. it's good. It's good. It's good. I'm sorry. One thing we didn't say about Scottsdale it's is a it's, really, it's a million degrees sorry, for I'm two sorry. and a half months. Look, man, I love you, brother. I love Look, you. Yeah. I love you too, dude. Talking about Look, you really cheers, fucked cheers. up with Honolulu. It's a piece of shit, dude. But you know what, dude? I love you. Just wanted to say, because we talked about snowbirds, but same applies for Scottsdale in just about summer. It's hot there, dude. I went there out one summer with, with it's like 120. Yes, it's hot. Fucking You're desert, bro. You're <laughs> you know what else is a desert? LA, dude. Yeah, but it's not uh, it's not that hot. Yeah. But yeah, they're both deserts. Yeah, both deserts. Aaron, let's like hear one's let, way hotter. Let's hear it, Aaron. All right, All right so you want to know who won? Yes. I think Please. I think the chat agrees with me and I think it's pretty obvious uh with the dub this week, JT Parr. Nice, bro. Let's go. It's been a minute. Let's go, dude. It's been a minute. Good shit. He brought Thank it you. home, dude. Thank we brought you it home. Guys. Thank That's you why guys. we had to go hard on you at five because we knew you were building a nice list. We Thank had to come you, in hard. Like, I, I understand. I understand. We had to come in hard, dude. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the city of Napa. <laughs> the city of Napa County, dude. <laughs> dude. <laughs> I think you should, went, you should get points for just <laughs> the delivery. That was so funny. For salesmanship. <laughs> uh, number two. It's the Par Boys this week. Chris Parr, number two. Whoa. Oh, shit. Let's go. Well traveled, dude. Oh, Let's shit. go. Fuck you. Mom and dad took us a lot of places. <laughs> All great places. Nice, dude. <laughs> nice, dude. Oh, this, oh, is, this, is, oh, this, this is, intense. is big. Shit, dude. <laughs> Shit, dude. No, dude. There's no way Strider's not last. There's no way. I don't know, dude. I think there's yeah, two picks he, where Chad didn't, could really fucked up. Didn't, didn't he get New York, though? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Didn't Guys, he get Vegas? I be saying shit like Guys, it's up to Aaron, dude. After the second pick in this, in, in that of Charleston, I thought for sure <laughs> this, is, this is the end for Chad. But then... Three picks in a row, <laughs> Scottsdale, Greenville, Napa. <laughs> Chad is three, Strider, unfortunately, you will not no. be able to. No, that makes me sad. Say what up, no, say what no, up, No, I don't want to lose you. Say what up, dudes. Dude, I'll Figure sacrifice myself. Nope, I'm off. Good man. Good man. I'll sacrifice myself. I'm this off. Isn't... Come and help me judge. No, dude, rules are rules, bro. <laughs> Taking the week off, tell Brad I say what up, dude. I honestly don't even watch horror movies. Obviously, your, your first two choices are great. To go Scottsdale and Greenville and Napa. 
<laughs> I mean, you could have... Hey, bro, have you ever been to Scottsdale? You're getting married in Santa Barbara. That was out there. Oh, yeah. Oh, Santa Barbara would have been Yeah, going, in yeah. my defense, the judge tricked me, dude, and told me to go east. I didn't tell you to go east. I was hoping you'd go Pacific Northwest, but... No. Dude. Portland or Seattle? <laughs> yeah. No, I wasn't going to do that. Dude, I'll tell you that. Uh, I'm reading I think it's just... Chat. San Fran's the only rainy city we were going to take. Yeah. Oh, Fran's Tom B. So says he threw on purpose. Whoa. No yeah, you, I, I will say this. Strider was the most magnanimous about, like, prior to the draft being like, hey, I'll give up my spot. And you're traditionally <laughs> an excellent drafter. Do you feel like there was any subconscious motivation? Going five was tough. <laughs> <laughs> say that. <laughs> Dude, he took Greenville four, bro. No, three, right? They have a... He took Greenville three, dude. No, no, he took Scottsdale three. Oh, Scottsdale three. Scott yeah, I yeah. wanted DC, But it was dude. back to back, so, so he got that at the top of the round. Yeah. He took oh, Greenville. Oh, yeah, you took Greenville four? What did I take it for? Well, you took it, you yeah. took it top of the fourth. Yeah, Great city. It is amazing. We had a lovely time there. But look, baby, I got last. Congrats to the dubs, boys. Have fun with fucking Brad, dude. Dude, a lot of people are saying ATL. Yeah, a lot of people want to. Yeah, uh, huh. that never been. It's a good flown city. Flown through, dude. Delta Hub. That's all. I know. <laughs> dude, I'm getting some hate. Dude, Charleston. horrible airport. Yeah. But what can you do? You, you I think they did more well flights that, than anyone. Though. You, you yeah. came back strong. You came back strong. Uh, yeah, the Newport pick was Chef's Kiss. Oh yeah, that's a good pick. <laughs> so you got you got to take a rips, beating dude. early on to to come. Laguna back. Beach is sicker, but Newport's pretty sick. Dude. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think it like calibrated you better when we all made fun of it? Oh yeah. It did me. You, right. So then you yeah. lie. Like yeah. did you just get did it, you get broken down? Do you think it improved your draft getting chastised like that? Totally. Yeah. I love it. DC was a good pick. I was nervous. I thought DC would be a bad pick. For some reason, because I feel like no one talks about DC. No, but I also think I think like it's historical. So important, I think historical yeah. and cultural importance matters. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. that's like if you it, export your five. culture, that's a huge boost. For that's like that's a huge factor in for me in like best cities. It's yeah. like when people know what like that city's about, and you like see things. It's the capital of the country. Yeah, yeah. I, I a lot I, of I movies really set there, there. You know that kind of shit. That shit's fun. What's that? Like having a lot of movies set there. Oh, you yeah. know, dude, House of Cards. Yeah. Yeah, you're a big spacey guy. <laughs> <laughs> dude, that's one where look, I'm gonna I'm still gonna watch LA Confidential, dude. I don't LA Confidential rips. <laughs> bad guy, but I'm still gonna watch it. Yeah. I know. Mom was always really attracted to him. Iron Will too. He's in that movie. The 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 snow dog racing one? Mm -hmm. oh, He's the reporter. Wow. Oh shit. Nice. Alright, should we that. guys it's tough to get oh, into beefs, bro. babes, and legends. After the uh, <clears throat> the intensity, oh, or should we do some? We have time. Should we do some questions real quick? Yeah. All right. Uh, We're not doing beef space. Jake sent. We're did, doing both. Did Jake oh, send yeah, to you? Yeah. 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 Can okay. I cool. Plug my phone into this thing. It's just like cuts. Oh, and guys, this is a big update. Um, so for next week's uh, podcast, we're recording one on Friday actually. So if we could get them quick, that'd be great. We can use them. But uh, we're now going to start doing a prompt for each week's questions in hopes of getting some uh, remarkable specificity and uh, wildness in the stories. We, I, I'm, I'm uh, borrowing this from the Tea Time Girls, Gabby Lamb and Harper Lee's po Harper, uh, Lee's po Harper Rose's podcast. Sorry. I always call her Harper Lee, like the writer. Um, but they do prompts. It's really fun. So um, our prompt for next week is going to be party <coughs> faux pas. So write in <laughs> questions about your biggest party faux pas. Hell yeah, I like that. All right, uh, headphones on for this guy so we can hear the question. I wanted to meet Brad. He's a good dude. I think, uh, I feel, yeah. I want you to be there too. Yeah, I know. I'm out, rules are rules. No. It's, it's rules are rules. You gonna go to Napa? <laughs> I'll probably go to, I'll probably go to uh, Greenville, South Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> I have been on Napa I'll probably several times. It's fun. It's you, get, you get loaded. It sounds fun. It's not my favorite way. It's fun though. I get you, heartburn. Do you, do you not like wine? wine I don't like uh, wine hangovers. No, they don't mind that. <laughs> yeah, it's uh. I think we just ended up doing so many wine trips because my wife likes it because Becca likes it a lot that mm. like 
I know, now I have stuff that like I'm good with drinking right. that I find easier, but I'll just taste whatever. Right, 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 right. But like the really heavy ones, it just it gets you the whole way down. Yeah, a lot yeah. of tums on those weekends. Yeah, um, the food's great though. That's what I was gonna say. The food. Are they not and, 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 up, better for the food, and it's like yeah. you go get day drunk, so it's super fun. Exactly. Yeah, I want to do that now. I haven't done that. So oh, dude, get like trip. get like a driver, or go with like one other couple yeah. or two. Yeah, you know. Aaron, if you do, if you do like a driver service, they'll plan your whole day. If you, you hear how we're to. talking about my city, Aaron, you hear that? Yeah. Dude? It's you, you interesting. Know, dude. To your credit, I think Aaron, I feel, it's very interesting. I feel like there's a lot of anal in Napa. People uh, do people do anal up there, yeah. I didn't know that. There's something about but the I'm valley. not surprised. Dude, yeah, yeah, I think Napa is Napa Well, that's Gott's roadside. Napa is you get German. a burger and some anal. Napa yeah, is French for anal. Yes. That's why they call it French laundry, because you gotta change your sheets. Exactly. That's what Newsom was doing there. People don't know that. He does so much anal. Yeah, you can't wear a mask while doing anal. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> Newsom does a ton of anal. <laughs> so then, oh, yeah. Mm, good. Oh yeah. Oh, just, uh, with the, oh, with the like, blazer on. Oh, the way this feels. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have the? Yeah. Oh, oh, right. Right. oh yeah. Just did a bunch of anal. <laughs> Sign this bill. <laughs> <laughs> At first, I believed you guys, but like, are you serious about this? <laughs> 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 no, dude. If I you just don't, don't want to. I don't want to go talk about it at dinner parties or something, dude. And people are like, "That's not." Yo, a what thing. up, guys? People right, you guys think ready? you pair yeah, wine with cheese. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this one's in t this one's titled MILF Dating. Guys, this is Andrew. I'm 21 from Santa Cruz, California. Chad, what up, dude? What up? Um, just going to get straight to the point. I've been having some dating checked. issues, more specifically MILF dating. Uh, All right, so he's from Santa Cruz. He's been having MILF dating issues. Relatable. She was twice my age. I drove 45 minutes to her house. Everything's going good, good conversation, chill vibes, um, you know, start making out a little bit and reach for the goods, kind of get denied, looks up at me and she says, I'm sorry, I just can't do it. You look too young. And mm -hmm. I'm just like, I don't know, boys, I'm kind of deflated right now. Uh, just wanted some uh, words of encouragement because. You know, you only get so many chances to bang a MILF, right? Mm. Uh, appreciate you guys. Love what you do. Peace. Damn, brother. I'm so sorry, man. I mean, I think you just got to grow a mustache. For sure, grow a stash. <laughs> you can age yourself up, but also, like, accept who you are and grieve this moment. Mm -hmm. Like, you thought you had the pot of gold, and then it turned out, you know... It was all a mirage, and that's that's hard for anyone to discover. I think you just got to feel all your feelings and be wistful and jay off to the memory of her, and then just like move on and and realize in time you'll make a beautiful woman a milf, mm. and that will be your milf that you bang, and also get to cherish and love and take care of. So like, it's not all sad, dude. And and honestly, just like appreciate the fact that you guys kissed. You know, you gave her the night she was looking for. She probably feels vulnerable, recent divorcee, mm. not ready to jump back in there and just get dicked down by some rando. Mm. But she wanted to feel that romance. She wanted to feel that flirtation. And you gave her all of that. So you've pushed her life into a positive direction. And I think that should push your life into a positive direction, despite the fact that you got no nut. Dude, I think, too, I think that's beautiful. And that's probably what you should do. But something came to mind. If she thinks you're too young, you got to show her that you're not too young, that you're mature. Take her to Napa, the city of Napa, mm. and I'm 65% sure you're going to do anal. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> for smart. sure. It's a smart call. Because, like, she's thinking, like, like, them, like them both. Two you got you strategies. You got to, like, you got to kind of uh, surprise her with your decisions, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, in a positive way, thwart her expectations. Mm -hmm. Like she thinks you're planning a Vegas trip and then you go, nah, I'm thinking Napa, Airbnb, something super mellow and relaxed, bring a book. Mm. Tell her to bring a book. Dude. Yeah. And she knows you have that young guy, wild buck energy, so she knows you're not gonna be reading, but she's gonna appreciate that you mentioned something like that. 
and then just be like, how about we hit the, the Mondavi winery? And then you pull out something. She's like, is that a wine bottle opener? And you're like, no, it's for gaping. <laughs> right, right, right. That's a good surprise. Dude, yeah. And the, when you guys are at the airport together, put that in your carry-on so it gets pulled out. Yeah. And tell her then. <laughs> when you're at Terminal 3 at LAX. I'll do a good shout. Delta. For sure. <laughs> that's tough, though, man. That's that's real hard to be grieving. He that got kind of, he got farther than most, right? Like sometimes, like you'll yeah, like you'll, ha you'll like you'll make out, and that's all that happens in a night, and it can be a really good night, you know. Like it doesn't always, it still happened. It didn't. No, Obviously, for sure. I think there's dudes degrees are... to the hookup, and like that was like a, that was a cool one. Just kind of like, it's not a porno. Sorry, you know, would have been cool if it was, dude. But like, it was still pretty fun. It's no, it's call. expectations. Like dudes, we think if we don't get the nut, it was a failure. But you have a beautiful experience. You have something that you can write into a podcast about. Like, it was something you'll remember. Yeah. And hopefully something she'll remember. And it was like, damn, that would have been cool. And but, then if, like, you know, that was fun. And then if they did bone, the thing is, it's perfect as it exists. Because it was just a nice experience between the two of them. You bone, then someone catches feelings, then you guys inevitably break up, then you both put yourselves on, like, kind of a a more bummer perspective as it exists now it's all upside yeah that's what i was going to say the silver lining is this young buck was able to have a sophisticated conversation with an older woman that's harder than jackhammering the <laughs> b-hole mm. in right. napa right so you're having a sophisticated conversation about a book you read you're talking about oh bernane brown you know stepping into your own or something of that nature. Some pray love stuff. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's... But he, more so this, actionable. This guy's got moves. I think this guy's got moves, and, and we're going to see the best is yet to come for this young fella. Mm. Fantastic. For sure. Should we hop in a workplace connection? Yeah. Sure. Does it involve a mill? Uh, what up, guys? Uh, so, I'm a 24-year-old dude. Um, been working at this place for about two and a half years. Is he doing a Strider impression? I thought he was doing a voice at first, know. but he seems yeah. like he's settled into himself. So okay. I appreciate the, the the shift into authenticity. Legend. And um, I'm kind of struggling to connect with some of the people I work with. Um, just really looking for you know some friendship and some camaraderie, um, just to make the work a little bit better. And uh, most of the people on my team, you know, older kind of in mid to late 30s you know they got kids they're just kind of in a different place in their life and, you know i can't like pull up on a monday and talk about you know how i hit my parlay this weekend and we're slamming red bull vodkas with the boys uh, mm -hmm. in a freaking section you know um so you know they just can't really connect with shit like that so um any advice on how i can uh, connect with some of the older folks in the workplace just to kind of you know make things bro i think it's pretty obvious dude is that he's trying to get them to meet him where he's at, but I'm not hearing an effort to meet them where they're at. Mm. Like, I'd be like, yo, what was it like, Phil, dropping your daughter off at college? Was that a sentimental thing? Mm. Are you excited for her? Are you partially nervous? Like, you know, uh, Ted, I see you have a new Hyundai Elantra. Mm. Did you lease mm -hmm. or did you buy? Mm. Yeah. It's uh, And then when they know that you're curious about their important exciting events then they might have a little bit more bandwidth for parlays um beer bongs and uh text threads yeah i think that'll definitely lead to more collateral mm, yeah for sure what do they what do they watch you know what's like is there a water cooler conversation like what are they talk, I think, you know what I sports think... teams do they cheer for you know like there, i feel like you can find some common ground and then you can also you could probably be the young guy at the off like you can also tell if you're if you pick your spots well you can tell party stories and they'll probably get a kick out of it because like oh this young guy he's like he's living it up you know what i mean i could even see like older co-workers being like oh did you get into something crazy last night and you're like you know that's like an opening for you to tell us i think there's going to be opportunities and especially if you have enough time where you talk about Find out what they're into. It's a know? timing and a trust thing. Like, if they don't trust you, they don't want to hear about you being wild because then they're just going to write you off as, like, a as like a, like a a wild card. But yeah, and, like, be, be, be targeted with when you tell those stories. True. Like, don't, don't, don't do too many. I've heard you mention this when new valet guys come in and they mention, like, how hot a chick is too soon. You're kind of like, bro, take your time with that kind of, you know, camaraderie. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't so lead true. with that foot, dude. I'm not your. We're not friends. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like, it feels better when you trust a guy because you know he's not coming from like too horn doggy a place. I, yeah, I think it's, it's a workplace. So you can't true. be horn doggy on, on day one at work. <laughs> yeah, no, you like. Well, like you, yeah, it's it's something that like you need to build up to, yeah. and like that's like kind of like the normal way to do it. I think too with older guys, you talk about insurance policies. For sure. Yeah, that's it's actually a good my move. beef of the week, dude. That was your beef. For sure. Talk yeah. about what food yeah. disagreed with you recently. Go to the yeah. go to the yeah. dentist. Dude. Talk to them. Like, I just went to the yeah. fucking dentist. Yeah. The, yeah. I'm sure they'll be like, oh, fuck. Dude, <laughs> you yeah. know? Inflation. It's always works. Oh, Inflation. Yeah, yeah. And there's also the Mortgage. person at work that everyone likes okay. to pick on a little bit. Yeah. Find that guy. Yeah, go up and punch him. Dude. Physically assault that guy, dude. Dude, wrestle that guy you to the ground, dude. dude. Put him in a headlock. Let him know who's you'll boss. Get, yeah, you'll get fired. But people will remember. Dominate you. the workspace, dude. Teabag him, bro. Bro, if they're not if they're not <laughs> responding to your conversation points, then it's hands. It's on site. <laughs> <laughs> should we do one more? What are you thinking? I think we should get into beefs, babes, and legends. Oh, we're doing okay. Cool, cool. Yeah. How's up, KC? Chadwick Von Kroger. Who's your beef of the week? Uh, my beef of the week is the AV Club. Always, uh, always. <laughs> dude, they they muffed up big time Brilliant. this week. So, big episode of Succession this week. I'm not going to spoil anything, but big, big, big episode. Wild shit. Some crazy stuff went Strider down. Strider even watched it. Strider even watched it. If it's you haven't watched it, it's fan, it's amazing. Big. Wait, we should and, talk about it. Though. <laughs> What's it? No, I. So, anyways, it's been long enough, dude. That's all uh, I'm saying. Well, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go into any details. I'm just gonna say what what happened. So, I I didn't watch it Sunday night. I'm saying we should go into details. Oh, you're saying we should. Oh, yeah. yeah I just did. I, I liked it. It was crazy. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, dude, I think you're right. Anyways, it's Hump Day, dude. Um, <laughs> this came out on Sunday. Dude. Anyway, say what you're gonna say. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, so I didn't watch it on Sunday night. I was gonna watch it on Monday night. And I was trying to avoid the internet because everyone was like, oh, crazy episodes. I was like, all right, I need to stay away from the internet. The AV Club has a headline giving away the the spoiler. They spoiled it in a headline, in a tweet. And it was like top of the, it was like top story on their website. I was like, and I just like out of habit click like variety, uh, AV Club, all that stuff. Like every, I was so mad, dude. In the comments, people were pissed. Rightfully so. It's like, why you guys know better than that. No, they do it on purpose now. They'll yeah. write articles that I know they're just trying to inflame the readership. Yeah. And the comments will be like, hey, this article sucks, but they're getting traction on that. Yeah. Like us thinking it sucks, they can't write something good that we'd actually just be stoked on. Yeah. So they're like little trolls now. They just yeah. write shitty things and then we all just complain about it. A very spoiler reverse. I didn't get it that bad, but like saw enough of a headline that I was like, okay, well... Somebody definitely died. Yeah. And, oh, that would probably make the most sense. So you yeah. saw it before you saw the episode? I, I, like, no, I knew that. I We're saw doing it. the same thing now by talking about it, by the way. So if you watch success, if you haven't watched the episode, skip. Um, it said, uh, it was like they finally did it. Or like they actually did it. And that was, and that was enough. Some of the best, but actors. that but it was a bit muted for me. It wasn't a full blown spoiler, but it, I'm really spoiler averse, so I didn't. I was upset that I saw that. Mm. But yeah, it was an awesome episode. Some of the best acting I've ever seen. Schnook, it's, dude, she yeah, was great yeah. in it. She was incredible. So we were talking about. The, I love all the weird, the weird like hugs that they do, where they're like, <laughs> they don't know how to, they don't know how to hug one another. <laughs> you really oh, yeah. how broken the characters are yeah. in every moment of it. Yeah. They can't like process. Is really and how phenomenal. and how you kind of saw two and then one and then one like it was nice how they spread it out. It's such a good smart. like modern portrayal of what that's like for people because we're so disconnected. Best phone episode I've ever seen of anything. Yeah, it, it's the all time greatest phoner. And I think uh, it also I was worried about the season being boring because I thought it was gonna be the same action as the previous seasons, and now it's like all up for grabs. Yeah. I have yeah. no idea where it's gonna episode go. Episode three and early in the episode, it was. Dude, Brian Cox in interviews, he's amazing. He yeah, he's, he's a fire breather right yeah, now. He's yeah. letting it rip. Dude. And then Dude, Jeremy Strong, Jeremy Strong, Jeremy Strong at the end, he's like, I thought it made sense dramaturgically. <laughs> dude, I called, me and my, me and my lady that? were watching it. I was like, that's hilarious. Yeah, said dude, that. So and then it went meme crazy. I was like, oh, yeah. no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. I thought it made sense dramaturgically. 
<laughs> he's hilarious, dude. He's all in all the time. There's always a point as an actor where there's a wall, and I think, I can't go through it. And then I do. His eyes are always about to cry. <laughs> yeah, dude. He's it's always like it's, on the verge of tears. But who else has done that? I feel like it's just, it's a great move. Yeah. Like Terrence Howard, Howard was always crying. He was it always was, about to it cry. Was like, and it was yeah. like, that's yeah. what acting is. So, some some people, that's their thing. They just always look like it. And it's like, yeah, it's dramatic. So I it's look fun. like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Chris, who's your beef of the week? Um, shit. What was it? Oh, fuck, dude. I totally forgot to do a beef. I don't know if I... I feel like I didn't do one last... Maybe you just got good vibes, dude. You're a pretty positive guy. Oh, but there's shit that pisses me off. I just didn't... I totally forgot about beef. Strider, who's your beef of the week? Yeah, I'm sorry. <clears throat> My beef of the week is with this dude who rolled up at Valet to like do like an Uber Eats delivery. Like, young guy, 24-year-old kid. And he cruises up, and he parks like... It wasn't that busy, and he parks like where we park cars. And I was like, oh, hey, man, like... You can go and do your delivery. I just got to hold the key. Like, um, you know, it's, it's like it's not self-parking. He's like, oh, he's like, I'll just be a second. I go, oh, no, I know. And this is just doing my job, all bullshit. Ah, yeah, no, I know. But uh, I just have to hold on the key just in case anything happens. Like, it, it is a fire lane. And he's like, dude, I think we got a bigger problem here. And he goes, because it's like painted pink because like the hotel colors. He's the pirate. The fire lane's pink, not red. And then I was just like. You, would you just move your car then? Like, it, like I was. It was the first time in my life I had been like the dude having to do my job to like a young kid, like thinking he was smart and cool. And then I literally take a beat and I was like, "Are you just gonna give me your key, or are you gonna move the car?" And he goes, "Nah, I'm just doing it for the culture." And oh, then he like moves he his car. He said for the culture. Yeah, and I go, "This motherfucker." Yeah, dude. and I go, I go, what? <laughs> I go, okay, you can. Just, move your car right over there and they moved his car and I was like dude that was unbelievable bro I've never seen that in my life dude so, I don't even know what that means I know that's what I'm saying. What he is wants that? it to be both ways but it's one way it he Jayden thinks he's Smith? like cool <laughs> no dude yeah. this is like a dude, 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 just some dude like a fucking young guy it was unreal I was like what was that and all the other young guys who are his age who work the job are like that guy sucks so I was like it's not a young guy thing just this guy thing. It's a that guy thing. That guy yeah. sucks, dude. So my beef is with that dude, dude. That's a good my, beef. And maybe more so is my beef is with thinking you're cool and and in the know and getting one over, but really you're not. Yeah, and being a bitch, yeah. and then at the end thinking you can like pull like a escape hatch or ah. like pull the ripcord and be like, oh, I'm not a bitch. I'm actually being really cool and fun, and I can save it with something like uh, topical. Nah, dude. Yeah, this guy sucked. Dude, my beef of the week is with uh, hospitals, medicine, life insurance. Mm. I'm getting life insurance right now because I got two kids on the way, and I want to make sure my lovely gal and our two Bruin babies are protected. I meet up with a life insurance dude today. Now, look, it's expensive, dude. If you want to give them a nice chunk, you got to pay up. I get that. But, dude, my whole life... I've been a psycho, but I've been an honest psycho. And every time I've gone to the doctor's office and they've asked me about my drug use or what I'm up to, I've kept it 100. So when I was doing a bunch of wild shit, I wrote it down. Cause I was like, these are my doctors. They're here to protect me. If something goes wrong, I want them to have all the pertinent information. And look, I was, I was too out of my head. I would go to the ER and get checked up on for nothing just for some peace of mind. And I'd always write down what all my mischievous behavior was. It almost felt good to tell a doctor. I was like, this is someone I can trust. Find out from the life insurance dude today, when you get life insurance, they check that shit. Mm -hmm. They pull all your medical files. And so now they're seeing this, and this is gonna make it really, really hard for me to get life insurance, even though I'm a really healthy guy now, despite these two brews. I don't drink much, I don't do drugs anymore, I just got my blood work done, I'm healthy as a horse. Strider, you were in the room when I got my results. Epic I was results, fired dude. up, dude. T -level. You get punished for telling roof. the truth. It's, it's, it's stupid. It's like, I understand what, like, obviously it makes sense for them because they're like, we're not taking any chances on you and you admitted to it. But it's like, nobody tells you this going into it. They're like, oh, the healthiest thing for, like, 
it might be the best thing for my f- future family that I just lie to doctors for my whole life. Yeah, which that, is, that, it's the incentives are so out of whack. It's fucked. That's my beef. Isn't that look? I get it that because I was chaotic, I deserve to get uh, hit for it. But no one gave me a heads up. Never when I was saying all that stuff to anybody did anyone ever say. That's going to make it tough when you try to get life insurance. And had I known that, I never would have told the truth. Even though I, I don't like lying, but I, I, I would have seen that it wasn't worth it in that moment, to be honest. And now I got to pay. The, and they might listen to this. That's what my guy told me. They might. But this is art. I'm being fake right now. <laughs> you know, the fact that insurance is even a thing. Is I know period. it is. Yeah. And then they just find all these loopholes, yeah. car insurance fucking pet insurance all this shit and they're like well we don't cover that you know it they're like it, you go to the doctor you go to like a you go to a, you get like dental insurance we don't cover cleanings and you're like what am i paying for here what do you what do you guys do and they're like we find loopholes and fuck you in the ass yeah and then if something does go wrong it's a whole fight to get it figured oh, out you yeah. gotta file a claim it's the worst that's why you gotta have a good nozzles, insurance guy dude. like i got oh, for the majority dude, yeah. of my stuff Mike Ferraro, great guy, oh, honorable. He, My agent as well. He will not skin you on stuff. He keeps it straight, and he, he'll call you quick, and he'll take care of you. Because he, cause he realizes that his relationship with his clients is family. And that's why there's 40 Ferraros that work for State yeah. Farm. That's right. I like jokingly was like, one of our friends, Ross, was, was sending rates for other insurance companies. And then I said, this is not okay. Mike, call me on a, on a thread. Like, 30 seconds later, he's calling, dude. And he's I was like, and I was like on this it. is amazing, dude. But like, I was obviously joking. Hilarious. <laughs> but thank you for checking Hilarious. so quickly, dude. If you're a 23 it's great year old to hear from you. who likes to do mushrooms and likes to, you know, take Viagra once in a while, and you get freaked out one night because you feel overwhelmed in your system by your lifestyle and just being alone, don't tell the fucking doctor, man. No. It's not worth it. Or tell the doctor, but don't write it down. Just be like, yo, doc, between you and me and not between the life insurance I'm going to get later because I'm going to meet someone I love and I'm going to want to have a family and protect them. Between you and me, I did this shit. But don't write it down because they'll fucking yeah. ding you, dude. Do the my friend Jerry one time. What would have happened to him? You know? Mm, yeah. Just... We're talking about it, but we're not specifically talking about me. And I have artistic license on here. Facts. It's why it's a it Stri- system. Chad, who's your baby of the week? Uh, my baby of the week is Linkin Park. <laughs> they fucking shred, yeah, dude. Right. I was listening to them. I was doing battle ropes. You know where they're from, right? Do you know where Linkin Park is? Charleston? Chicago. Oh, dude, Linkin Park. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we didn't talk uh, about that when we talked about Shake It Park Zoo. I, almost dude. It I was, I was I like, almost I was like, up, dude. I, I knew that. Uh, also, the musical Chicago they, that was uh, in New York. Your pick, amazing, dude. <laughs> I uh, every time I listen to Meteor Hybrid Theory, I'm like, I need to learn guitar. <laughs> I gotta learn guitar. Yeah, I did battle. Well, those, are the, uh, those are the albums, right? Yeah, I did battle. Hybrid theory, dude. Hybrid theory. Yeah, dude. Let's fucking go. I did battle ropes to. I did battle ropes to breaking the habit. Dude, it was rock hard during all of it. I fucking skied it all over that rope. <laughs> I fucking love you, Lincoln Park. R.I.P. Chester. Yeah, this guy's a beast. Oh, crawling man, that was. I think that's I my love favorite. that jam, dude. Oh, yeah. I always used to talk about what was band practice like for Linkin Park. Did Chester have to go balls to the walls? Like, yeah, Chester, if you could be a little more sad, angry on this one. Yeah. That'd be he great. probably did, right? Because, like, concerts, he'd have to I imagine he did it for, like, at least an hour. Right? Yeah, they right? had one of those MTV shows where people would pretend to be friends with a famous person. At the end, you had to guess who really was friends with the famous person. And on one episode, it was someone who was really friends with Chester. And he was so nice to the, to the roadies and to the crew and to everyone. And he'd make a meal for people, and at the end he'd say, and don't forget the most important ingredient, love. Love that. He's real deal. Real deal, dude. That was a show. Beautiful. That was a show on MTV. Oh, don't fucking beautiful, dude. Yeah. This is... Who's your babe of the week, dude? Um, oh, it's uh, hoodies. Oh, yeah, bro. Just like the chillest article of clothing. You can lounge in it. It can be tactical. I wore one, obviously, because I was going to do hoodies. And, they, dude, I just love them so much. I feel so cozy in them. You look good, dude. Thanks. The, the tied-up laces, sick. I think I've worn it on here before. It's a great. It's the it best. Looks, but I love I, I love like hoodies. the way you got it. It came like this. I never thought to do that. It's nice. Um, but, yeah, dude, hoodies fucking roll. 
When your boy jacks one of your hoodies, dude. What the fuck but when you jack one of your boy's hoodies, it feels better. <laughs> it does, dude. You're like, it's, it's almost like thinking, it's kind of worth it at that point, Griff, dude. Yeah, took it from a ten in the morning, and it's like it's worth it to get your stolen every once in a while to be like, you know what? This one's totally mine now. Yeah, hoodies are kind of like that's what they are. They're kind of just. They're up for grabs. Dude, your freaking dank-ass GF puts your hoodie on. You're like, you look all cute in that right now, dude. Yeah. And you kind of feel jacked. You're like, that's really big on You can you. be sleek in them, yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah, because she's not well, wearing, like, 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 pants like, with it. It's just, yeah, like, like, cutting right above the knees. Sexy, dude. <laughs> it is sexy, dude. It's good workout gear sometimes. Silent yeah, true. Silent loving basketball. Ooh. Omar oh. Epps. Omar Epps. Strider, who's your baby of the week? My baby of the week's got to be my freaking dank-ass fiance, dude. She's just crushing it right now, dude. Um, just being a beast in her career, dude. Getting it done, dude. Dialed in, dude. Taking good care of our dog, dude. Just sending me good facts of how to be a better dog dad and just being a beast. So just loving that. What dude. are the facts? Dude, just honestly, just more of indicators of what the dog does. Like she'll send me stuff being like, if your dog sleeps in like a donut shape, it's protecting its vitals. And it's also maybe a more caring dog. Also, if your dog has a long gaze, and looks at you longingly, it means it's comfortable. If it sleeps with its legs out and on its side, it means it's very comfortable and trusts you. Obviously, we all know this. If a dog exposes itself to you, its tummy, its under, its vital organs, it means it loves you. And then another one that I knew was like, if the dog licks you a lot, don't just push it away because it will get its feelings hurt. Redirect it, dude, with a toy or something like that. Mm. I hope my girlfriend so going like that. That's dude. me and Gigi's relationship. Yeah, don't push it away, dude. dude. I mean, you know. We got a good thing going. I've been upset. I'm watching Golden Retriever, like, Love Channel. Oh, yeah, bro. <laughs> it's all channel. Do you play it's music do. for your dog? Golden dude? Retriever facts. Nice. What? Oh, yeah. Do I, I play music for my dog. Oh, I should do that. Yeah. Yeah, I should, I should put on, like, cause she, I, no, I always freak out when she's in her crate for a while. I should put on, like, Animal Planner for her. Yeah, that'd be tight. Just put on fucking Fast 3. No, not Fast 3. That's Tokyo Drift. Fast 5. Put on, like, in Park. <laughs> Oh, baby. That's like torture, dude. <laughs> That's like, a movie <laughs> dog. It's in its teen years now. Well, not, dude, not for like 12 plus hours. <laughs> yeah. Dude, one time I couldn't That's true. sleep. That is some Gitmo stuff right there. Is that fucking Joe's place, the fucking barrage in Arizona at like one of their ASU parties? And I couldn't sleep. I had like the worst like floor sleeping position on hard tile. And their fucking buddy, Kevin, bro, yeah. was like fucking courting some lady with blasting fucking... Um, uh, what is it, Tom Morello's band, fucking... Um, Audio Slave or Rage? Rage. Blasting Rage Against the Machine. And finally, I like, dude, I was like, maybe they're hooking up. What I finally knocked on the door. They were both just passed out. I was like, motherfuckers, and just hit, like, stop on their Napster playlist. <laughs> and then they both woke up. Yeah, they both woke up. <laughs> <You> started <laughs> sucking each other's did. dicks. And they're like, what the fuck are you doing? Dude, my baby of the week, I was in my favorite city in America today. Not in my top five, but my favorite city, Huntington Beach. <laughs> I'm leaving meeting up with uh, our life insurance broker. Legit, dude. Great guy. Super fun to talk to. Trust him with my life. I'm leaving, and I'm kind of like, you know, I'm an annoying driver. There's a dude in front of me in a lifted Chevy Silverado, and he's at a right-hand turn, and he's not moving. And I'm like, bro, I know you can take this right turn. So I just give him, you know, city style, a little honk on the horn, and I pull up to go around him. Dude, dude's yelling at me as I pull up to him. So I roll down my window. And he goes, there's a fucking guy walking across the street. I'll smash your fucking face in. <laughs> it was awesome, dude. It was like a double espresso <laughs> shot, dude. I was like, whoa. He takes the right. I take the right. Oh, dude, as I'm taking the right, there's a, a, a gay dude there with his buddy. And they're walking their dog. And they look at me and they just go, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Because the guy was so quick to violence. And me and those dudes just laughed. I pull up to the next light. And uh, the, me and the guy are side by side, and he's he's barking stuff at me, so I roll down my window, and he goes, if you had gone in front of me and taken that right turn, you would have killed that guy and his dog. And I was like, you're right. And then he didn't say, like, thanks or anything. He just went, ugh. And then drove off. Dude, he was ready to rock and roll so fast, man. So fast. That's Huntington Beach, dude. They got an energy there. They're ready to go. Um, Chad, who's your legend of the week? My legend of the week is Toast. Mm. Just Toast. I love mm. Toast. It's sourdough good. Toast with butter. Is there anything better? I could eat that all day. It's the best. I don't think Sourdough Toast has gluten, which is so sick. Dude, that's so tight. I, I mean, this isn't Toast, but I got, and we were in San Francisco, I got a huge loaf of sourdough. 
house the whole thing. Oh, you it, went to it was town in the sh- on that. Yeah, it was in the shape of a teddy bear. Bro, are you making bread? No. Nah, do you make bread? I don't, but my lady makes bread. Whoa. Sourdough? It was like a big thing during COVID, right? People got yeah, into making the bread. Starter. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Hang I on mean, that. I don't know. I'm I mean, not... just to see something rise. Yeah, see something rise. I, I, I guess something in, in me, because I'm a huge proponent of keto, it's like I don't want to be a household that makes carbs. I, I, that, I, I felt that conflict even before I asked you. I was like, Whoa. this is a challenging question. Yeah. And I'm sorry to the fans who I've let down, letting you know that I eat bread. Mm. That's all I have to say. Mm. Progress, not perfection, dude. Hey, man, dude. <laughs> <laughs> like, for like, for, true. Fucked up, dude. Chris, who's your legend? <laughs> um, basketball, dude. We played, played some pickup on Saturday. That was fun. It was freaking sick, dude. We won all of our games. Yeah. Shout out to Joe. Shout out to Reggie. Shout out to Dustin. That's who we were playing with. We had five, which was awesome. And then also, like, we had playing. some ball movement, dude. Dude, there were some really nice possessions, nice entry passes into the paint, dude. Some good finishing, you know, some shaky jump shooting for most of the team. Dustin's is ace, though. But, hey, we made enough shots and kept winning. And none of us were afraid to pull the trigger. I was, I was proud that we all were like, hey, if we're open, you got to take shots. Shoot or shoot. You know? And then also the plans have been – Couple of the games have been good. NBA playoffs are starting. Go Warriors! It's just it feels like it's basketball season. Playoffs are about to start. I'm ready to start hooping. It was fun. Who do you got winning the MVP? Like who do you think should win it? Uh, I think it'll be Embiid. Yeah, I, I think, think I don't think Jokic should win it three years in a row. It's tough, and like Embiid's good enough to win it. He like it's yeah, he dropped 33 a game. I know it's crazy, and he play any D's up for like Eric can. And his buckets aren't like uh, he's huge, but it's not all just like the majority of it's not his just back. His mid range game is amazing. You know, he has like handles and he has like fakes and he kind of plays like a guard. And he plays, I feel like he gets the ball all over the court. You know, he's got he's got spots everywhere. And he's, I think he, I think I heard on Simmons that he's hitting fifty one percent from like uh, five to sixteen feet. Mm. Mm. That's it. My my uh, legend of the week is, uh, dude, sitting on the couch watching a show or whatever you like to watch, but having a football in your hand <laughs> and just fucking tossing it to yourself, dude, and just fucking posting up, just doing that. It feels nice, dude. Every house should have a football in it. Should be a part of the living room, like a lamp. It's the ultimate anxiety release. I'm like bringing it on boys trips, dude, just in case, dude. You I know what? It. I'm going to bring yeah. a football. Mm. Yeah, I carry it on in my luggage, dude. The air pressure messes it up. I deflate it a little bit when I land. Yeah, well, and c- yeah. coming yeah, back from that's coming some back Tom from Brady Cabo, stuff right there, dude. They mm. made me. Um, mm. They made me deflate it so they could check it just to make sure I wasn't bringing it. Deflate it all the way. Yeah. Whoa. Mm. Chicago. I brought a- Cabo. Oh. Mm. International rules. Yeah. Or something going reaching. on there. Mm. Brought it because it was like. <sighs> Gonna be a couple of us hanging yeah, around. You're gonna want to toss it. Let's toss the pigskin. Yeah. Make sure we got a good. Is one. there mm-hmm. anything better than when you're throwing the football back and forth? And then something almost breaks, and then you have to take a break. Mm. Well, that's when, <laughs> the only time you stop is when something. Yeah, breaks. when you're like, yeah. finally ah! you push it a little too far, and you're like, all right, I almost knocked over the lamp. Let's yeah, put the ball I'm gonna dude. put this away. Exactly. Dude. Yeah, good call. <laughs> so either that or like dinner's ready. If you're a kid, you're like, all right, fuck, let's go eat. Mm. You know, go deep, dude, to the kitchen. Right. Yeah, fucking Strider, who's your legend of the week? This did. It was me throwing the football to myself. That's what's up. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what up, dude? No, my What's brother, going on, dude? Because my bro was talking about football for a while, so I, I got He was talking about it beautifully. <laughs> yeah. I'm drunk. Um, dude, my legend of the week, <laughs> so, and this is a pivot. I was going to do my day yesterday. I had a nice day. I love doing these drafts. I love drafting with you guys. It hurts if I lose. feels great if I win. But I always appreciate the competition, the camaraderie. And um, I got to give it to Strider. I think uh, you're my legend of the week. Mm. You give the best pitches on your picks. Thank you, legend. You genre bend the hardest. And uh, I don't know. It doesn't seem right. I don't know if it, I don't know if we can do it without you, dude. Yeah. No, the rules are rules. But here's no, the thing. If I make no. a bad pick, I got to sell it hard. Hey, we went into this all knowing. No, I, I, I <sighs> feel like we knew. could have you. There's just some kind of punishment. Like you wear like a dunce cap or something. <laughs> so, dunce beanie maybe dude okay, okay. Yeah, okay. I don't want to look unsick dude it's like, it looks like you're a wizard 
like the pointy, that's kind of sick though the pointy hats they wear in harry potter that dude it's a sick. fucked up it's a fucked up thing that they used to do to kids and make them go sit in the corner wearing yeah, a dunce go hat sit in the, dude, that's a terrifying that was that was a real thing yeah yeah they go you're the if you're a kid like we would have been in dunce hats in high school for sure like making jokes and shit the teacher would be like Why? go in the corner we were stupid huh no but we were the fucking legends dude making <laughs> we were jokes, sick dude. though yeah Dude, just vertical 6 and 9 dude. Dude, thank you, JT. That's high praise. Look, I love getting after these drafts with my boys, dude. All right, should we... Uh, I blame Aaron, dude. Kidding, Aaron. Quote of the week, I Chad. What's your quote of the week? Uh, my quote of the week is uh, lyrics from Linkin Park. I tried so hard. I got so far. But in the end, it doesn't even matter. I had to fall to lose it all. But in the end, it doesn't even matter. So, you can hustle as much as you want in this life, but we all die. You can't take those things with you. Enjoy the ride. Hey, fucking man, dude. That was sick. Dude. You nailed that. Thanks. Chris. Uh, no man has a good enough memory to be a successful liar. Abraham oh. Lincoln. That's dude. true. Oh, that's incredible, dude. Let me see here. I'm, right now I'm Googling Maximus quotes. He didn't say no woman, though. Huh? Interesting. One could point that out. Dude, sometimes when these guys talk about man, do they mean humankind? Probably. Does Neil Armstrong yeah. mean humankind? No, but I actually I actually think in that instance, and I'm not even saying I agree to disagree, but in that right. instance, I think Abraham Lincoln was being specific on purpose. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> and it's like, it's both a compliment and uh, and could be perceived as a negative, like, you know, you're wilier. Yeah, no, there's there's power in it, bro. I wish I could. Here it is. This is a great Maximus quote. Anything in life. And this was me. Hey, I took the L. I took it. I got to wear it on the chest. I talked shit, but I took it. Nothing happens to anyone that he is not fitted by nature to bear. He said Max, that in the Maximus movie? Maximus Decimus Meridius. That's so badass. Here's the thing. If he didn't that's say from, it, that's a cool dude who made yeah, that fucking graphic. Somebody's writing good who, fan who fiction. That? Dude, yeah, exactly. Dude. That guy's a beast if he whoever yeah. wrote that. Yeah, He's I'm, writing like a prequel about Maximus in his like 20s. I'm not even I'm not even being a fucking bitch. I'm dead serious right here. I was going to do in the end by oh, you were. Park as well. Oh. Um, and I thought we could all sing it for Strider. Right. Oh, that'd be beautiful. Yeah. As a send off. So if I got the lyrics here. And we could end the pod like that. <laughs> and we could we just, just the whole thing. I think we we go at I tried so hard, and we end it. It doesn't even Dude. matter, even though it does matter. But just to honor them and have fidelity to the lyrics, we'll stick to just it. Picture but. me driving home by myself. Can I do the first like it starts with one thing? Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, but let's just go. It starts with one thing, and, and then, then let's just go into the chorus. Let me see some of these. Alright, we'll just go in the chorus. No, no, do it, do it, do it, do it. I'm serious. I'm serious. Ready? Mm-hmm. Starts with one thing. I tried so hard and got so far. But in the end, it doesn't even matter. I had to fall to lose it all. But in the end, it doesn't even matter. One thing. I don't know why. <laughs> Go. It doesn't even that matter how beautiful. hard you try. Keep that in mind. The design is round and resigns. Right. No, go, I go. So to ride, to ride myself how I tried <laughs> so, so hard. And got so By the way, so you were mocking me, acting like I was part of your property. <laughs> Dude. All right. Good pod, everyone. Good draft. Good shit, boys. Thanks for tuning Good in. Yeah. Thanks for tuning Later. in, Legends. Good luck with the MILFs, Dude, Dude. I can, I can sit out, bro. I forgot to No, no. That. Those we'll are rules out. are we'll rules. Rules are rules. Look, if I one of you guys lost, you can't. No, 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 baby, baby. These are the.